When's the last time you've had a donut? Okay. Let's move all that stuff. And let me turn it up on my end. It's so hard to tell sometimes if the sound is on. Okay, cool. You had a single blueberry donut. Oh, blueberry donuts are pretty good. I am just a very simple person when it comes to donuts. Um, I'm going to put you guys right here. I think you guys will look nice right there. You look fabulous and beautiful. Okay, so we need to go... Um, okay, that's the village. Uh, Chad, did you already get the fairy at the village? Or No. Did we already get the fairy within the the fairy within the fairy? Nope. Okay. Are we getting all the fairies at least? Oops. Oh my god. Here we go. Let's go here. Thank you very much. We are going to uh visit We're getting the fairies within the How many fairies are there? Five? There are five fairies? Or is there only four? I think there's five fairies. The, the last one, or like one of them only gives you an upgrade for your horse, from what I remember. Um, One of them is only related to reviving your horse. Oh, hello. I think this is where the fairy is. I'm trying to remember. This is out of the village. What do we need to bring her again? <gasps> oh, yes. There's that thing, too. I forgot about the bunny thing. Let me grab that. We're going to be heading to Zora. Aren't we supposed to take a picture of it? I'll listen. Great fairy. This place was once a beautiful spring. But as time passed, fewer and fewer travelers have arrived to offer me rupees. As a result, my power has abandoned me because I'm poor. I need to go rob a Dunkin' Donuts. I'm nearly powerless now, so I beg your help. I need rupees to become whole again. We need is a hundred rupees. Once my power has been restored, I can help you do great things, boy. Now, if you have rupees, hand them over to me quickly. In order for me to regain my power. Do we even have... Am I over the rupees? Can we not even see my rupees? Can you guys see my rupees? We don't have enough rupees. I'm going to move myself over here at this point. Okay. Ma'am, I need 50. I'm broke. <laughs> oh, no. I can't give you anything. I'm so sorry, ma'am. Uh, sorry. That's truly tragic. All right. Well, we're going to go need to go get some more rupees, and then we can come back. We just don't, we only need 50. It's not going to take us that long. It won't take us that long. Ooh. Don't you wish you could just go out and kill monsters for money? I mean, we will soon. Right now, we're gathering. Okay, right, we'll be back. I think it... I think every... Quick, find the Dunkin' Donuts shrine. <laughs> Put on our Dunkin' Donuts uniform and try to sneak in. Uh, 
Ugh, my favorite song. Okay. Um, what are you doing? Mommy's hiding, but I'll find her. Okay, creepy child. So we need to head. Well, I wonder. I wonder if we should do uh, Hateno Village before we embark on to Zora area. I think we have to go there. Well, because I only say that because there's a very, there's a shrine there and there's a tower close by. So my thought is to go that way just for sake of opening the tower and getting another warp point. Because this is, that's, that's Elden. This is Zoro Domain, right? So we need to head this way. But where is... Did she guide us to? Oh, we need to select the quest. That would probably be helpful. Oops. Uh... Okay. Now let's go. Now let's go look at it. So we need to go this way. So this would open majority of this. And then we could probably have an easier time heading that way, I guess. I don't know. This gets us the camera. Or this opens the camera ability. Which opens that quest for Zelda. And then we could basically go get a shrine along the way this way. The only thing is I think we have to basically go back through this. We have to go back through Kakariko Bridge and then go the opposite way. So what say thee, Chad? What say thee? What do you guys think? I do need to go grab like a little tiny piece of chocolate because I have a slight headache. So think about it. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to go pee. And then I'm going to go get some chocolate. And they'll be right back.
<laughs> what? Are we making fun of me again? <clears throat> All of a sudden, credits roll. This is my 100% speedrun world record. I forgot to put that in the title. <sighs> Has my timer not been running this whole entire time? All right, well, we got a few extra minutes. That's okay. The clock is moving now. <laughs> <coughs> I didn't realize it wasn't moving before. Do we have a horse already, Chad? <clears throat> oh, hi. <coughs> Excuse me. Choked on a pretzel. Even when you're trying to eat healthy, all these healthy foods are trying to just kill you anyway. Spinach all up in your teeth. Is that our horse? Not in the owning sense. <laughs> oh no. Do we need to buy a oh do we oh do we need to take it and get registered at the uh stable? <laughs> this is a horse I befriended. <laughs> the funny thing is this would happen in real life. Like uh, Chad would also be like, this is a horse I just found and befriended. So because I gave it apples. That also works for a Chad. If you're trying to catch a wild Chad, if you set apple traps around the area, you could also befriend one as well. You could also capture one. That's you would you would do the same and then you would give it a pat pat. Works exactly the same. That's how I caught my Chad. Just set little apple apple pies instead. It wasn't necessarily apples, it was apple pies. Full on apple pies. All right, let me make sure I'm going. Yeah, so we get down to the bridge. I think there's a stable. I want to say there's like a stable right here or something. Where is the, um, need the other thing up. Hold on. I need my interactive map up. Um, is there a stable over here? Where is, oh my god, so many Korok poops all over this page. <clears throat> uh, I need, I need what? I need to figure out where I am, first of all. I, with this, uh, we'll figure it out. We know where we're going. You love the Chad lore? Nice. Uh, let's just put a star here. Yeah. I know I'm the arrow. I'm talking about my interactive, <laughs> interactive map. <laughs> I was trying to figure out where I am there. Great. Let's see if we can get you to this. Yeah! Oh my God, stop it, Joey. How are you? How's it going? How is y'all? Okay, so once we get, oh, there's a stable. I see one. I knew there was one over here. Hi, how are you? Yeah. How is everybody? We're playing everyone's favorite Zelda game, Breath of the Wild. Oh, sorry. Oh. All right, let's go put you in the stable so we can officially name you. Do we want to start taking votes on names? Not necessarily votes. What are what are suggestions? We're not doing my butt, okay? Listen, we're not doing my butt. I was... It also makes me sad that last time we had to do the 
that one horse quest where, um, oh God, let's name it your butt. Uh, we had to do that one horse quest where you basically get a horse for a guy because he lost his horse or something and we gave up like our best horse last time. Your butt, their butt, Joey's butt. Okay. Hello. <clears throat> so many possibilities. Uh, yes, I know. Explain. You can board your horse companions with us and then summon them as you please from a network of stables. Butt of the wild. You have come across... You may have come across wild horses during your travels. If you catch one and ride it here to register, it will become your horse companion. One person can board up to five horses. And you're able to swap horses in and out as you please. Okay. Do you know how to catch a wild horse? Yes. Pardon me. Let me start over. Hi. Welcome to our stable. Come with a wild horse. You can register it with us. Or if you want to stay for a rest, please head to the counter. Hi, Jono! Dude, where's my butt? Honestly, dude, where's my car is winning for this week. We're, we will probably be watching Dude, where's my car? Also, I think I bruised my knee. <sighs> okay. New horse. Max Bond. Yes. Not a problem. We tried to registration. Well, listen. So... I don't know if I can pay you because there's a ferry in the next town over that I already like promised her I would pay her a hundred rupees. So I don't like what's what is your registration fee? Because <sighs> fine. Oh God, that hurt. Please enter a name for your horse. Um, let's name it S sweater puppets. Um. Let's name it. You finished Fallen Order last night? What a good game. Did you enjoy that jawline, Joey? Did you enjoy that strong, sensual jawline? And the story. Um, Was that my first time beating it? Beating what? What am I beating? Oh, I'm sorry. You're talking to Joey. Never mind. Uh, name it Makar. <laughs> Fine. We'll name it Makar. Oops. Oh, gosh. Makar! Oh. Yes. Perfect. Ah, uh, yes. Take horse. Oh. Mm. By the way, if you get separated from your horse, you can whistle and we'll come running. Yay! Oh, goody. The amount of times I have accidentally pushed this button and signaled myself when I was trying to be stealthy. Can't hear you if you're too far away. Keep that in mind. All right, buddy. Ooh, you got some fancy stuff. Oh, look at you. Look at you all prettied up. Okay. We are going to go... Um... You whistled last night. Uh, let me, oops, let me look at my, so we need to go back up here and then basically turn at this fork and then follow that along. Okay. It should follow the road, right? Does it auto follow the road? If you're on one? Okay. That's what I semi thought. Okay. Okay. Got a saddle and everything. What a cool feature. I know. Hopefully they don't take that away. In Tears of the Kingdom. Joey, when are you going to see uh, the movie? The Friday? Did you say Friday? Sometimes it's nice having your butt auto steer. Hi! Sup? Just passing through, sir. Horse AI is real. It's a real thing, you guys. This is nice. You don't have to pay attention. I probably still have to pay attention. Just not as closely as I used to. 
I wonder if I should stop and grab some parts out of these things. Woo! There you go. Good job. Good job, Makar. Okay. Let's grab some more things. The car knows, knows what to do in these situations. A stray guardian will make you pay attention real quick. <laughs> oh, the amount of times that Alex is going to die. Because she's not paying attention to stray guardians that come to life. It's going to be fantastic. You want to watch it multiple times? Oh! Ah! <laughs> that was perfect timing! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> There's one. I found one. I found it. That was great timing, Chad. Did you know that one was going to come alive? That was fantastic. <clears throat> I need, again, I need someone to get me, like, one of these, and I can put it in my fridge, and I can play the noise, so when I think I'm gonna go try to nab a piece of chocolate or something, I get super nervous and scared, thinking it's gonna shoot me. Sir, I'm just trying to grab parts from your friends. All right, listen. It's not a bad thing. These, they're dead. All right, they're not going to come back to life. It's only you out here in this lonely, vast area. I'm sorry, but that's just the way life is. Trying to gather. Because, don't you need... Is the professor lady the only one that can build... Um... Guardian items uh, for weapons, like the bow and sword and stuff like that, or... I know you just need a bunch. I don't remember what the schematics is. Yeah, he doesn't have any legs to go anywhere. He's already very upset about that, probably. Hey, Ro! Hello! Is that a boat down there? Oops. It is a boat. Okay, we got we got things to do. We got to stay on task so we can get the most done out of these two hours. Hello. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, I'm so sorry, Makar. You okay? Oh, we, we will need those spicy peppers. You okay, buddy? Alright, let's... Oh, gosh. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Rough first day on the job. No kidding. I gotta figure out where we're going. I have wandered off too far. I need to get back on this road here. There's lots of treasure, though. I am tempted. Yeah, you can't blow it. Mm-mm, not today, sir. Not today. Please don't break. Please don't break. Well, it broke just in time.
Okay, beautiful. Treasure. Oh yeah, that would probably be a good idea so everyone can see and warn me when arts need to be replenished. No, I think we should play the game of not knowing when the uh, the hearts need to be replenished. Oh, we have a lot of... Oh my god, we have so much stuff. Okay. Uh, where is the... If that's the case, just remove the HUD. <laughs> Thank you, D. Opal, yay. All right, which way are we supposed to be heading? We are supposed to be heading this way. We got to get back on this path over here. Enjoying some grass, I see. Okay, so we should be able to just head straight. And then get back on this path. Okay. All right, I think we just need it. Once we head through this bridge, we'll be, f or this little gate area will be fine. Now we are in uncharted territories. Goody. Uh, I wonder if we should recover some hearts first before we... Before we go any further. Probably. Is it almost blood moon time? Oh dear god. Almost blood moon. Oh dear goodness. Wait in this house. Oh goodness. Hi, sir. I mean to bother you. <laughs> I didn't even see that guy there. Is this our first blood moon? Or did we have one? Did Chad have one? Ganon's power grows. It rises to its peak under the hour. The blood moon rises once again. By its glow, the aimless spirits of monsters Can I skip this? Return to flesh. This is our first one! Yes! They make it seem scarier than it is. It's not even really that scary. This guy seems fine. What are you up to? Let me guess. You caught wind of the great Dr. Callip's groundbreaking research and just had to meet him for yourself, eh? No? Don't tell me you've never even heard of me. I've dedicated my life to researching the ancient shrines. Well, you'd better remember my name, for it is not the last you'll hear of it. And while I'm at it, it's Dr. Callop, if you please. I didn't study my rear end off to be called Mr. Callop. I hate people like that. That they're like, I, I must be called doctor because I went to school longer than you. <sniffs> Everyone forgets I'm a doctor for some reason. And since you asked, I'll inform you that I'm engaged in analyzing ancient text. I haven't had time. I don't, I haven't time for idle chit chat. Soon, my long years of research will be revealed and all the world will hail it as the discovery of the century. I know, but still. Um. You know how much I sacrificed for this company? Something of a scientist myself. Did I just hear you call me doctor? As in not merely Callip, but Dr. Callip? Rolled off your tongue so naturally. It was downright salivary. Ew, no, sir. Thank you. Suddenly, I don't want to be in this cabin anymore with you. 
I'm feeling charitable, so I'll spill. I'll let a few things spill. This is just between us, understand? When a dark light resides in the cursed statue's eyes, pierce its gaze to purge the seal from the shrine. I'm still in the process of deciphering that one, so I don't suppose there's any harm in sharing it with you. That's my life in a nutshell. Days filled with researching shrines and nights spent studying ancient texts. That leaves no time to converse with passing strangers. Farewell. Oh, well, bye. More slime. Alright, off we... Actually, there's like a fire. I think there was a fire or thing over here. We gotta make it to the village. That's as best we can. We gotta make it to the village, and then we gotta make it to... Um, the tower. Soon. Let's just hope nothing decides it wants to come out. Auto saving, great. Hello. I think once we get there. Sorry. Is there a tower? Next it must be we're we're is that the one we're supposed to be getting? Once we get there? Low battery! Dear God. Oh shoot. Who forgot to charge the the controller? Yeah. Okay. I think we need to go the nope. Wait. We need to go this way? I think we need to go the other way. Ugh. Let's go read that sign. I want to say it's the other way up the hill. Hold on. This doesn't... Yep. Yeah. Equestrian riding course. Well, we could have went over there. All right, I gotta find a cord to plug up this controller soon. Um, God. There's so many cables. <laughs> Makar knew where he wanted to go. He wanted to go to the equestrian riding course. Ooh, shrine nearby. Neat. Okay. Oh, God. Uh, let's see. There's a shrine nearby. Should we get it? You're not a shrine. There's a shrine. Oh, they're fighting. Oh, meat! Meat! Oops. Uh, oh god. I need a... I need an item. Okay. Where was it beeping?
That's not good. I wasn't watching my hearts. Okay. Continue. <laughs> Instead of throwing yourself at enemies over and over. Car's in the middle of nowhere now. Well, so are we. I'm trying to find the shrine. All right, let's not find the shrine. Let's just go. Come on. I want. I think it's up this hill anyway. I think it's the one that's in to the that's just next to the village. Yay! We found it. Hello. Goodbye. There you are. Okay. All righty. Let's go up here and activate this. You started a new master mode yesterday? Fun. Okay. Let's put that there. Um, let's go start the story. <laughs> Need a place to park my car. Mecca. Okay, so then... Let's go talk to the scientist lady that we were supposed to go talk to. Hello. It only goes so fast. I think we gotta go all the way up there, and then we should be able to head to the tower? I think. You might try on your... To just... Just, you know, casually be Ganon on your main save later. Oh, we're, we're gonna need to turn just a bit. Gonna need to turn just a bit, thank you. All right, calm down. Calm down. We're just on a hill. You don't need to get all worked up. You have a teleporter set up? I think we did that last time, too. I think we set up something similar like that so we could just teleport right over there when we were ready. No one locks their... No one locks their doors. Good morning! Imagine you've never seen so many books in one place. Pretty incredible, isn't it? We've gathered all of Hyrule's known literature and ancient civilizations here. As for the actual number of books, well... Hmm... Is that... That thing on your waist, is that a Sheikah... There's no mistaking it, this is a real Sheikah slate, isn't it? Never actually seen one in person. You just show me the runes on it, I'd be most appreciative. Stasis, ah, uh, Magnesis, yes, yes. Remote Bomb and Cronus? Um, Cryonis, sorry. And what else? Let's see. That's it for runes, but strange. It doesn't seem like you have the basic runes. I don't understand why they're missing. There must be 
or some there must be some for some reason where are my manners i nearly forgot to introduce myself my name is simon you are link right <laughs> lady impa caught me up to speed you see we were told a young man holding a sheikah slate will appear and you must all you must do all you can to help him he will be the hope that reawake that awakens from the slumber of restoration his name will be link Oh dear, I forgot to tell you something very important. Oh. Director, listen. Miss Director, this is a real Sheikah Slate. Ah. Oh, that's right. I haven't introduced our director. Oh. Miss Pura seems... Happens to be right over there. As the Hateno Ancient Tech Lab Director, Miss Pura is the world's foremost authority on ancient Hyrule culture. Check it! Check it. Do you guys find her annoying or do you love her? I have the utmost respect for Miss Pura and all that she has accomplished. I am honored to be her assistant. On that note, Link, you see, the director may look like a young girl, but, well, maybe it's not my place to be telling you these things. You should go talk to Miss Pura herself. Hey! Are you surprised? The director of this laboratory is not Simon. It's me! Snappity snap! Anyway, do you remember any dreams from your time in Slumber of Restoration? You don't look like you've changed a bit in the last 100 years, but something must have happened in all that time. Well, no matter. I'm just happy you're still in one piece. Linky, what's the matter? Do you still remember me? Really? Well, I'm so shocked I don't know if I'll ever be able to recover from this. Even though a hundred years ago, I took you to the Shrine of Resurrection after Calamity Ganon fi fatally wounded you. Even though I was the one who put you safely into the Slumber of Restoration. Despite that, you still don't remember me? Uh, as I expected. After 100 years in the Slumber of Restoration, Subject has lost all memories. Noted. Oh, sorry. I have a bad habit of taking notes rather abruptly like that. It's like a charming quirk, isn't it? Anywho, do you have any questions for me? How very rude. Hmm, or perhaps that's not rude at all. I suppose that's actually a rather logical conclusion to jump to. You don't mind her, and you were surprised to hear that most people seem to hate her? I don't mind her either, and I, same. I was very surprised that people don't like her. I'm like, it's, it's just a character. The truth is, I look this way because of a failed experiment. Well, I say failed, but in some ways, it's, it was a success. I documented the full affair in my diary upstairs. But, the whole thing is embarrassing, so I insist you refrain from reading it. Anyway, enough about that. Back to the topic at hand. Here you are, after 100 years. Here to defeat Calamity Ganon, who is growing in strength with every passing moment. And to rescue our beloved Princess Zelda. That is, if you've got the courage to try. And to help the one true hero, I, the one and only Pura, will restore the basic functions missing from the Sheikah Slate. And what do you say to that? <laughs> I knew you'd say that. Alright then, first I need you to run an errand for me. What's with that look on your face? You didn't think I'd fix your Sheikah Slate for free, did you? Um, no, because honestly, no one around here does anything for free. So why even bother? Hmm, you're pretty considerate for a young person. But then, I suppose it's because you're actually over 100 years old. Let me explain what this errand entails. You know the unlit furnace on the wall just outside the laboratory? Could you please bring the blue flame from the ancient furnace in town? And use it to light our furnace? This sweet little guidance stone will start working once you do that. Allowing us to restore your missing runes. Wonder if young women these days still say things like sweet, little. Oh well, I suppose it doesn't matter. Okay then, I'm counting on you for that blue flame. Alright, let's do it. That door just closed so abruptly. Alright, you're gonna stay here. I'll be back. We're going to go into town.
Let's go get the blue flame. Where is my... Is it over there? It's over in that little thing, isn't it? I think. I'm not sure. I know. There is no one in here that takes, like, the blue anything. What's the uh, glider? Does it... What's the button for the glider? Since I didn't get to use that. I don't remember the button. Um, yeah, everyone wants something in this game for monies. Just FYI. There we go. Give me a second. Everyone wants monies. We should be able to cross this. Okay. So let's light the... Or let's grab this and light that one right there. Uh, do we have... I don't have any sticks. Uh, yeah, this is such a cute little town too. Mm. Oh, I think I was supposed to take one from up there. I know I have low battery. All right, listen. If I could go find the charger, I would. But right now, I don't have any time to do that.
Oh, gosh. Okay. We're making do because I can't find the charger. So we're you using a uh, Apple charger. So hopefully that will work. Um, I need to go get a stick. Somewhere. Making the most of our time at this point. Do I need to go all the way back up and get a stick? I think there would be one right around here. Hello. Ugh, I gotta go all the way back up. Okay. I mean, it definitely looks like we're going to get more towns in, uh... In Tears of the Kingdom. I don't know what that was, but okay. Yeah, it was like a lizard. Okay, we need a stick. Looking for a stick. So I can light this, oops. Light this fire. And come all the way up here so she can restore the settings on my tablet. Why was it not lit in the first place? That's what, that's a great question. But I would want to know. Why do you not have it lit the whole entire time? Okay, there should be one... Right around here? There you are. Is there one inside? Oh my god, there you are. Uh, let's get rid of that. Perfect. All right. Now we can go. Beautiful. See if we can jump from here. Okay. We're on our way. Oh, boy. It's It's been a journey already. We still need to go get the tower for this area. Okay, I, oops, I need porch. Beautiful. I don't think, you can't run with this, right? Sadly not. Okay. I think we've got to go down. Oh, no. Actually, I think if we go that way. I'm sorry. Don't die. Stay on, little light. We gotta go up this way. Uh, I had a great day. Presentation went fantastic for communications class. Answered all the questions. You know what the great thing was? We were the only group that had everyone there to present. So it was a great time.
Everyone showed up. Everyone did what they were supposed to do. Best class, that best group ever. Yeah, it was fantastic. I think there might, there might be one over here. Oh, we might have went too far. Um, I know. One less thing to worry about. Okay. Beautiful. Just keep lighting them. So we go, well, we should be able to go out from here. Forgot how many side quests and stuff are in this game. It's so many. It makes me intimidated to find... I mean, I can't even imagine what they're going to give us in Tears of the Kingdom. Like, the amount of side questing we'll be doing will probably be insane. Yep, I was worried because one person was semi-late. And I thought, oh no, she's not here. We can't present. I wanted to present first. <laughs> and she didn't show up on the Zoom. And that's what happened to all the other groups. One person from their group didn't show up. And yeah, I'm like, I can't even imagine. I would be so mad at that one person for not showing up. So you like, you couldn't even present anyway. So then you have to wait till next week. Bummer. But things are going well. Things good. The pool's almost open. Which is great. Is it this one? <laughs> nope. It's wild that that many people didn't show up. I know. It's kind of a little... It's a little bit crazy. Especially because you know that you have presentation to do. He... You know, the professor did say... Yeah. Be, oh my god, Joey! Oh, My heart can't take it anymore. You guys... Is it that one? Hi, Joey. How are you? How's it going? I know, he's just trying to make a collection of Hayah clips. Attack it. There we go. Sorry. I think I was just pushing the wrong... I think I was pushing... Uh, B instead of, or, yeah, instead of Y. Okay. Let's do it. Yay! My sweet little guidance stone. You sure know how to make this old researcher's heart flutter. It's gonna be a YouTube short. A Haya compilation of me just being like, oh my god. And then also in between me dancing to Cotton Eye Joe. Nice one. Okay, then Chica Slate Repair underway. Guidance Stone Lock removed. Now, let's do this thing. Yay! Now we can access the full functions. It's like we went into the Apple store because our phone was broken. And they lit their blue flame and they fixed our phone. Also known as turning it off and turning it on again. Of course, sir. I'd be happy to take a look at your equipment. Oh, it looks like you're, you haven't got all the runes installed for access. Let me help you with that. Now you can take pictures with your phone. Yay! Hi, Okra. How are you? How's it going? 
Arun has been at Pura is the Apple store of Hyrule. The Apple associate. Yay! So many picture things that we're not gonna do. Fantastic. Sweet. Uh oh, Batman's doing his laundry. Less than two weeks of school! <laughs> How does it feel? It feels Amazon. Um, and it's done. So, is it all fixed up now? Hmm, let's see here. Which one is it? Camera, Hyrule Compendium, Album. Yep, looks good. So, I know this is sudden, but hear me out. Take a picture of me with the camera. Oh, and don't forget to let me see it. Okay. Boop. Oh, nice. We got her with her eyes half open. Beautiful. Yankee. Snap! How's the picture taking going? Did you get a cute pic of me? <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see it. Let me see, let me see. Wonderful. <laughs> hmm, my, who is this beautiful young creature? Uh-huh. Huh? Oh, I guess that's my cue. Sorry, I kind of lost it there. Wasn't on purpose. Hmm. Huh? Huh. Not just a pretty girl in these images. Yes, there's also some old landscape photos stored in that album. I knew Princess Zelda had made frequent use of the camera feature, but this... Hey, Linky, it dawns on me that you were Princess Zelda's appointed knight. Which means... There's a strong possibility that you accompanied her to all of the places where these pictures were taken. Oh, right. The lost memory thing could prove troublesome. But don't lose hope. It just means these pictures could be the missing piece to help you restore your lost memories. My hunch is correct. I suggest you check in with Impa. She knows more about Princess Zelda than even I do. Oh, yeah. There's one more thing I need from you. You don't have to worry about this until after you see Impa. But I want you to bring me back some ancient materials. Bring them to either me or to Robbie at the Akalala, um, ancient tech lab. As if my joy weren't enough, you bring us some ancient materials, we'll give you something good as a reward. All right, let's do this. Sweet. Oh, you're cleaning out the camps. Didn't get to play as much as you had hoped, but you're enjoying it so far. Yeah. School's almost done. Almost to the two-week mark, and then it's literally a countdown from there. The the upsetting thing, which my dad made a big stink about, because he's like, this isn't... That's stupid, and that's unfair. Um, okay, horse. Okay, horse. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, to the side. To the side. Oh, yeah, right there. Oh, yeah. Wave it. Wave, wave that hair. There you go. Hair flip. Hair flip. Beautiful. Save. Horse. <laughs> no, this is Makar. Okay. So cute. Alright, let's... Makar is so beautiful. So pretty. Um, we need... get to the tower. We need to go to that tower, correct? I think. Where is my... This is where you died. Mortis. I think we should probably go get that tower before we go up to um... Zoro Domain. If I'm being honest. <laughs> uh, I just want these. Show me where those are. 
I need. Let's see, Akwala Tower. Woodland Tower. Is there a Hateno? There you are. Now I know where we are. Oh. Did you get the Dueling Peaks one, Chad? I assume. Or no? I think you did. No, you did. Okay, you did. Okay, great. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, so... Let's... Oops. I didn't see a... Did you put it in my Discord? Did you send it to me in a, a personal message? Or was this a while ago? Uh... Okay. Is it this one that you put in photos? Photos yesterday. I'll watch it here in a second. I'll watch it after stream. Is that okay? All right. Let's... It was from your game? Sweet. Okay, so we should be able to just head over here. You love Breath of the Wild so much. I feel like when you first started Breath of the Wild, Okra, you were really not liking it. But you like it now? Or, or was I wrong? I think there was just more comments about, like, my sword just broke. Which, honestly, same. I left Makar. Should I bring him with us? Should I bring Makar with us in case we run into a stable? Fine. I will take him. This is why I don't really do the horse thing. Because knowing me, I will forget about the horse. I will forget about the horse and my car will get stolen. All right, let's go grab him. We'll just keep him in the stable from now on. That way, Chad doesn't overreact. This is why we shouldn't have picked that name. But honestly... My butt was probably not even going to be any better, so. I really didn't have any superior choices. Okay, let's go grab him. I mean, I think he's fine, right? He gets to sit right next to a blue flame. You know, he gets to be right next to a scientist lady. He's fine. We'll know that he's here. He could be the next experiment. You could turn him into a pony. Oh no. Okay. Let's go. Gosh. Well, you know what? Watch the sides of the mountain, please. We've got one little path. <laughs> the chickens might come to roost. Someone could be mad at Makar for something he did in 1987. We don't want that. Okay, so let's go out this way. We activated that shrine. I guess we could... Oh, I guess we could go ahead and do that shrine while we're over here. If we wanted. If we really wanted to. Um, I guess we might as well just grab that before we go to the tower. No yawning. Not yet. So tired from last night. So many assignments to try to do. Thankfully, I don't have any homework tonight. One more orb to get another heart. I will do it for the orb. Let's do it. Watch this as a test of strength. Shrine. Test of strength. Medium difficulty.
think this is a puzzle one. See if I remember how to do this. I don't remember. We did all of the shrines last year. I could not tell you ever either of them, any of them, none of them. Oh, it's one of these. No, 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 go back, go back. You're good, you're good, you're good. Woo! Can't you just like flip it off? Ooh, I think you can like just flip it over there if you really wanted to. Okay. All right. Enough playing around. Enough goofing off. Oops. People found these so difficult and hated them. I don't mind these. I don't mind these compared to like some of the other shrines that you have to do. Coming from someone who has done all of the shrines. I don't mind this. Yeah, this is, I think he, it was this one where he accidentally flipped it off and it made it. It was either this one or it was something very similar. It was pretty funny. There we go. <laughs> oh, that was per that was beautiful. Exactly where I wanted it to go. Okay. Sorry. I'm just having a good time. I apologize. Oh, we almost did it. Almost went over there. I think it bounced off of something. What did you say? What do we? Hate existed at first, but now it's the best part of the game. I think you might be able to like fling it over from this side. Oops. <laughs> it's like, uh, did I get it? I accidentally hit the A button. Okay. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, just you hear the da 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 da. Oh, 
we were so close. Landed right there, too. Am I annoying anyone else? They're like, just get it. Just do the maze. Did he flick it off the side? Oops. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll just try it normal ways. I'm not as good as some people, so. He just fully rotated it forward and it happened. Good times. Good times. that worked. I think that did. I think I got it. It was at the bottom left. Nice. Woo! Da -da 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 -da. That, hold on. I like these puzzles too. Okay. Some of the other ball puzzles are a little bit annoying. I can make it over here. I wonder if I'd had a, I needed to bring it down a bit more. No, yep. Yeah. Goodbye. I needed to bring it down more. It's a Zentac. Well, hi. How are you? For the sake of time, I'm trying to get through to the Zora domain. That's just what we're going to do. And also, we need monies. We need a, an extra heart here. Okay. How's everybody? How's the arm? Yeah. I'm gonna do fish waifu slash fish, fish husband. I mean, no one can resist his smile. When you see him smile in the game, I don't know how anyone doesn't just immediately weep. You can almost touch her shoulder. Mm. Sweet. That's awesome. Already at 80%? That's awesome. Yay. And you. That's so good to hear. Let me see it again. Hold on. Hopefully this isn't loud. I'll see if I can do this. Hold on. God, it's so loud. <laughs> it does just like flip it. That's so funny. <laughs> That's great. Ah, uh, well, I didn't try that strat, so. All right, let's go this way. Oh yes, let me see the sidewalk chalk. 
I, um, I used to live, um, I used to live, uh, when I lived at my old house, there was a guy, um, across the street that his kids, um, his wife always got the sidewalk chalk out whenever it was really, really nice out. And one time she must have ordered the wrong chalk and it was permanent chalk. And he was so upset. Um, I think his name was Pete. And he was so upset when he came because he realized it was sidewalk chalk and he didn't want chalk all over his driveway. And so he made her, I remember looking out the window, he made his wife sit out there and like scrub until it was all off the... And he was like yelling and everything. He wasn't yelling, but he was, he was like, this is your fault. Like you ordered this and didn't pay attention. And, and she was out there on her like knees scrubbing this chalk off of the, and I'm like, dude, come on. It's eventually going to come off. She just need to scrub it. Um, yeah, you can buy permanent sidewalk chalk. If you, if you look hard enough on the Amazons, according to his wife, you could find some permanent sidewalk chalk if you want to. They also found the neighbor's missing cat. Your kids are just absolute heroes. Can I say? Can I just be honest with you? Absolute heroes. I need to head towards that. Let's not talk to that guy. That's awesome. Were they actually looking for the cat or did it just happen to come upon did they happen to just come upon the cat? Yeah. Right, so we are going to need to put this horse somewhere. Yeah. And then we're gonna need to head up that mountain. Yeah, must have gotten their skills from your dad. Yeah. The the CIA agent on locating people, but animals. <laughs> Is this a test? What you got for me? Sweet. Okay. Anything? Anything? No. All right. Let's head. Beautiful. I am not going to be able to climb that. Is there a smaller area for which I can start? Ooh, look what's over there. I don't know that we're going to make it. Whew, barely. Okay. Rock salt. I know we can bomb these, but we don't take that route. We also, I guess we probably need to look at getting all of, like, the climbing gear and stuff, Chad. Flint! Well, should I wait for it to stop raining so I can climb this? Let's see if we can do it. Let's just see. Of course, when I need to get up here, it's raining. They always look for it when they're outside. That's so nice. I'm sure the person appreciated that too. It doesn't stop in the... Are we in the Zora Domain right now? Is that where the Hateno Tower is? God dang it. I thought it was more near Mount Lanayru. Well, you know, 
Is there a way? There's a way this... Oh, God, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Let's just think this through for a second. Um, we could start over there, maybe. See if we can start over here. Get up on that ridge over there. And then go around. I guess technically we're in the Linerou Lin area, so it's just going to keep raining. I think if we go up here and then that away, we should be able to climb it. <laughs> it's beautiful! Like a golden Pikachu. Okay. Can I fly over? Can I fly over here? Will I make it? Whoa! I. God dang it. <laughs> please, please don't fall. It. Oh, well, I've already messed this up at this point. There's no land with which I can sail to. There's a bridge. I see the bridge. I just... I see the bridge. I just messed up and I slipped. Okay? Calm down. I saw the bridge earlier. And that. That happened. Yay. Lots of dying. Hurry. Let me go. Come on. Come on. We got 40 minutes to get to the Zora Domain. Get this tower done and get to the Zora Domain. Come on, game. It's like the game doesn't know that I'm on a timer. Goodness. Oh, look. It's not raining anymore. Well, that, that helped. Technically, we could go climb that now. If we wanted to. But you know what? I'm going to go teach that guy a lesson. That hit me. And killed me. We're going to go get him. And tell him that's not okay. Ouch! That wasn't okay either. Um, do this one. Well, it's it's raining now anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And they're gone anyway. Nope, never mind. They're not gone. Lesson taught. Dead now. We got what's... Oh, hello. Get out of the way. Oops. Aha! What now? Got my mop ready to go. Okay. So now... See if we can... Get a good drop on this man. Now you die. <laughs> Good job. 
butt. Right there. <laughs> he did turn around and hear me say that. Right here. Come on. Beautiful. Come on. Kick the bomb down the side of the road. Oh, uh, what? You don't even want some anymore? Beautiful. Nice. He doesn't he didn't even want any anymore. Can you believe that guy? Okay. E up hill. Going to make it to this tower. You want it? You want some more? I want some s'mores. That sounds delicious. S'mores sound amazing. I don't think I have any. Actually, I do. Oh! <gasps> How dare you! Ah, get out of the way! Groin area. Groin area. Perfect. The trouser snakes. It's the weakest area. It's, it's the most sensitive. Of course you're going to hit there first. Why would you not? Uh, let's switch this. Hit him in the trouser snakes. Ooh, more flint. The only thing with the bomb sometimes when you do that to the rock is you sometimes you can't see where it goes. You guys. I need to make sure that I have arrows. Oh, God. Herb! Yay! All right, we made it to, whoa, God, made it to the tower. Now we get to climb. Climb we shall. You know what sounds really good? Peanut butter. Sounds delicious. Peanut butter is supposed to, if you have a trouble, if you have trouble sleeping, peanut butter, a tablespoon of peanut butter is supposed to put you right to sleep because it um, increases your tryptophan levels. So the same thing that turkey does for you when you eat a bunch of like turkey Thanksgiving, peanut butter does the same exact thing. So if you're wanting something that's a nice treat before you go to bed, I always eat a scoop of peanut butter before I go to bed. And it helps me usually, for the most part, get a good night's sleep. I haven't done it recently, but I used to. I used to keep some chilled chocolate chips. So just get some baking chocolate chips, put them in your freezer. Tips with Alex. Snagging tips with Alex. Get some baking chocolate chips, put them in your freezer, and then put like a couple of tablespoons of peanut butter in a cup or a bowl, and then sprinkle some frozen chocolate chips 
um, all over your, uh, yeah, I don't think many people know you can burn the vines. They just assume you got to climb around it. Not touch that. And then don't forget to put the peanut butter in your pants. I don't think we're going to make this. Probably because I went the wrong way first time. Oh, good. We landed right here. Ooh. You have frozen Reese's eggs? Really? Sounds so delicious. We need room temperature peanut butter. Yes. So room temperature peanut butter and then put your frozen chocolate chip chippies in your peanut butter and then I stir it up and it's the most delicious thing. It is a wonderful midnight treat and you don't feel bad about it. Where do I need to go? Do I need to burn that vine? I feel like I have to burn that one. Yeah. Oh gosh. No, we already did that. Oh wait, was that before or after this? Okay. Do I have fire arrows? <gasps> I do! Dad, you didn't tell me about these. <whistles> Makar isn't able to, to be here right now. Grab those up there. Burn it all. Okay. Wait. All right. Those should now be on fire, and then we should be able to go all the way up there. We shouldn't. Hopefully, our stamina should hold. Okay. All right. Here we go. I think <laughs> the guide said, they're like, you should have upgraded your stamina by now. And I'm like, Haha, that's funny. That's real funny, guide. Let's be safe and we'll climb onto this one. Just to be, that's a good one, guide. Upgrading our stamina as if Chad would ever think about doing that. <laughs> Silly guide. Silly guidebook. I guess we better upgrade our stamina. Because they only get worse from here. They only get more complicated from here. Alright, so this should open hopefully a big chunk of the map so we can see where we're going. Yay! Do you think that Tears of the Kingdom will still have the idea of having... You know, putting the slate into the tower to open more of the map. All the things. Do you think it'll still be the same type of ordeal? Or do you think the map will be given to us? Since we're not waking up from a coma. You think we'll just already be working with a, a map? Or do you think that we'll have to find pieces of the map in, like, different dungeons? That would be cool. Someone already gives us the map. Well, that opens a nice big chunk of it. Okay. Now we're cooking. Sweet. Alrighty. So, that's where we were. We need to head over that away. 
Now, do I need to take Makar to a... I need to take him to a stable, right? Otherwise, we can't access him. We're going to have to, like, come back to that same exact spot to access him. Um, I need to go get him. Okay. Let's take him back to the stable. Um, actually, we might be able to ride him no matter where he is. Oh, okay. As long as he's registered. All right, then I will leave him there because I don't want to have to go back down and get him. Um, we need to go to... I need to change my... That's, please, thank you. Oops. I think we need to go, yeah. We need to go this way, right? Pretty sure. Already got Hateno. Doc Mementos, blah, 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 blah. Okay, um, oh, we go back and talk to Impa? Okay, uh, I guess we can. I don't have any, I did pay my registration fees, which I was so super mad about because I need a hundred rupees to go access the Great Fairy. So if any of y'all have some tips, on getting some rupees real fast. That would be ideal. Because we gotta access the Great Fairy so we can have an upgraded armor set before we go into Zora. That would be great. I did see a blue pea earlier. Right by the, the Great Fairy Fountain. Oh, hi, Paya. Okay, let's talk to her. She is going to tell us. Yep, mm hmm. That's complete. Off our list. Perfect. Now then, let me see. Oh, ah, this is without a doubt the camera that Princess Zelda used 100 years ago. Yeah, we could sell some excess monsters. Mm. It could be that if you visit the locations within those pictures, you will be able to restore some of your lost memories. I'm back here once you have tried going to at least one of those locations. There is something I wish to give you. Alright, sweet. So we have a new objective. Let's see if we can go get rid of some stuff. Well, act can I I can turn in my spirit orbs for a new heart, right? Not a new heart, but a a uh an additional heart. Heart container? Art container. Yes. Beautiful. Oh, it's so pretty. It looks very much like... Uh, these look very much like... Um, Twilight Princess hearts. I forgot about that. Art containers? Yes, I have five. Then I need to start your quest. Yep, I need to go take a picture of the fairy fountain. Do women fart? I mean, shouldn't you already know that, Okra? We fart on a daily basis. Sometimes multiple times a day. <gasps> we do! 
We also have hair everywhere. We have hair all over our bodies. Yeah, I know. Sometimes we burp. Um, sometimes, let's see. We also poop in the mornings, sometimes in the afternoons, sometimes in the evenings. It just depends. It's different for everybody. Yeah. All of these new facts. What happened with you? Sometimes all three. Sometimes you get all three times th time zones throughout the day. Nope, I'm not. I'm not rescuing any chickens today. I'll go find them. Yeah. Okay, great. He looked like he also needed to do his his business this morning. Um, I can sell to her, right? Or do I need to go to the other place? I just, I just did tell you they poop. Surprise. Chickens? Oh, look. Imagine, like, living in your house and your chickens can come in and out and lay next to you. That's, that's hilarious. <laughs> just sleeping next to my chickens. Hi. Okay. Um, do we, I think it's on the other side of the village. Yeah. Chick guy you're talking about when you're playing a different Oh. Yes. There's always that one guy in each game that you have to go find his chicken. Uh, it's not this one. Let's see. Let me see what she'll buy. Hello. Uh-huh. Great. Um, can I sell you something? Uh, let's sell you. I mean, I'm going to probably need these later, but let's, I just need. I just need a hundred. I need a hundred rupees so I can give it to your great fairy lady. All right, just a little bit more. Um, let's, oops. Let's sell. I'm trying not to get rid of too much stuff. Because we're going to need it once monster guy comes around. I don't want to sell that honey either. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Nope, that's it. Ooh. Ooh. They're j are they moving? They're all jiggly. <gasps> Butter! We can put it in our pants. At least women don't curse. Oh, thank God. Yeah. We are the sweetest when it comes to our words. Um, we use words of affirmation all the time. Nothing but love and joy come out of our mouths. And none of it is usually directed towards any male that's next to us. And it's just the loveliest thing. That's one thing that I will say is very true with women. Um, there's no spite, anger, or frustration in their voice at all when they're talking to anyone. They don't get mad. They don't curse. Um, they don't say any bad words. Sir, you are such a lazy butt. You couldn't even make it all the way up the mountain. Come on. Come on. But we are just like the most nicest, wonderful people you will ever meet when it comes to women. Yeah, we're just the best. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Couldn't even make it all the way up here. Come on, please. I have returned. I was using words of affirmation 
in hopes to coerce him up the mountain. Yeah, I was trying to get him to hurry up here. Yes. Take them. These are my favorite. Uh, I will. I would say these are probably like my top. I like the Wind Waker fairies, but I think these are my absolute favorite fairies. I just think they look absolutely adorable. Yay, we gave the woman enough money to make her happy again. That's what all women want. Fairy cosplay? Oh, I don't think I can pull this look off. Look at that. That eyeshadow. I don't even think I could attempt that. Ah. Oh, looks so beautiful. All you got all you gotta do is put some pasties on. I mean, I don't I think that's I don't know that that's twitch appropriate, but yeah. Mm. Oh, what a feeling. First breath of fresh air for the, after an eternity of decay. It's just so intoxicating. Thanks to you, I've been returned to my former glory. And as they say, one good turn deserves another. I can help you, boy. He modded the great fairies to look like him. Oh my god, I gotta see it. I need to see that. I knew he was doing a modded um, Kaizo situation, but I hadn't had a chance to... I think they're... Um, I think they're like bikini tops, but very loosely fitted. Let me see. Great. Oh god. Has everyone seen all of the great fairies of this game? Um... There are five, I believe. And um, they all look just a little bit different. Uh, but they're all wearing about the same, pretty much the same outfit. Uh, let me see. I'm trying to, can I add, just get a picture? That would be fantastic. Uh, I guess they might be like, Tasty things? I'm not I'm not really sure. Um I can't really tell. They're like flowers. I wonder if they have a cosplay. Breath of the wild cosplay. Oh, cos oh play fairy. Um I mean there's a lot of them if you look. There's a lot of fairy cosplay. Looks like they just use, like, little molded, cupped flower things. So, it's definitely doable. You definitely do it. Um, just need to get some, like, molded cups. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Sweet. They have one on Etsy I could go purchase. It's for the pink one. It's not for this one. It's for the, uh... Yeah, they're supposed to be lotus flowers. Uh, the horse god counts. Um, yeah, they're little lotus flower cups. Yeah, the, whatever the pink one is that you run into, there's a, there's a costume on Etsy. Don't know if that would be appropriate to, to wear though. And I don't know how comfortable it would be to wear continuously. Um, but that would be totally fun. Uh, all right, let's enhance. What do we want to enhance, Chad? Let me give you the full view since you can't see it. What do we want to enhance? Um, we can only enhance the trousers. We can only enhance our trouser snake or our bandana right now. The climbing hat. Mm. Yes, please. Jono ah. says it's clothing. I, I'm pr like the way that the costumes are put together. It's clothing. It's just they're just flowers. So imagine I took big lotus flowers and put that like, that's not, I don't know. The thing that is interesting is like, what is, where does a cup of like support differ from a pasty, you know? Do you know what I'm saying? Like where, where is the line drawn with that? These are just flowers. 
but so be it what you will. Beautiful. Either way, she looks fantastic. Um, they don't have to be, actually. There's um, some out there that can cover the whole, like they can actually give you a bunch of support um, with your personalities. And um, yeah, it just kind of depends, actually. They're all fancy now. Um, no, I don't need any more. But it's, again, it's it's whatever you want it to be. If you want them to be pasties, they can be pasties. If you want them to be molded lotus flower bra cups, they can be molded lotus flower bra cups. It's whatever your imagination wants. Look how pretty she looks. Beautiful. Okay. Bye. They're basically the... They're just, just know they're sweater puppets without the sweaters. I think we can all agree... That that's what's going on here. Sweater puppet without the sweater. Okay. Got his picture. That's that's the most important detail. Okay, Chad, I got your great fairy and your climbing hat upgraded. We got 11 minutes to get to... That secret place veiled in mystery, the great fairy fountain. Neither snow, nor rain, nor heat, nor lightning strikes stays me from swift completion of the self-appointed task. Ah, uh, you... you found it? Really? Are you serious right now? You have any fairies? Uh, I don't. Do we have some bottles? I haven't even looked. I'm gonna grab some. There it is. This is the Great Fairy Fountain. It's certainly beautiful. Oh, I don't? You guys, I haven't played this game in a year. I need to calm down. After playing every single other Zelda game where you needed bottles, my mind has been trained so well. Ooh, yeah. I know where that is. Mount Lanayru, at the base of Mount Lanayru, on the west side of Nidra Snowfield, lies that gate, I'm almost certain. Thank you, sir. Dad, do you want me to go get you some fairies? Say yes in the next five minutes, otherwise I'm leaving. You've got ten minutes to say yes, sir. Ooh. Ooh. Nice, nice, nice. Hey, okay, okay. Yes. <laughs> you need a great fairy body pillow? I guarantee you they have those. That seems like an easy request. Yeah, you gotta sneak up on them. Same as the, uh, the bunny that was... The first time I came over here earlier, there was the bunny. It was literally right over here. Called the Lord of the Forest, okay. Aw, oh, listen to it. So pretty. Boop. Grab some carrots. Yep, we need some of these. Oh, it's so pretty. I found a sweater that I think I'm going to buy where it has all the flora of, um, of Breath of the Wild on it. And I thought that would be really cool to have and wear. I don't think it has all of them, but it has majority of them. All of the flowers, at least. Yeah. <laughs> sweater puppets will be nice and toasty in my Breath of the Wild Flora sweater. Exactly.
Okay, got some fairies. I think we got two or three. Yeah, I think we got three. Okay, so we're good. We're in a good spot there. We need to make it to... We need to get to Zora Domain. I think we're pretty much just ready for Zora Domain. Oh my god, $514. For the fairy costume? I could make this myself. What the heck? I could be making some big monies. Oh, she can do it. They can do it in every color. Interesting. You can either choose a mermaid tail or other things. I'd rather put on a Princess Leia costume, you know? I'd rather just put that on. Oh, they have the uh, Ger Zelda, or they have when Link dresses up in his Gerudo outfit. That's cute. Um, okay. See what you guys have done. Or we've gone down a rabbit hole. Um, where am I? Fairy fountain is done. Blah, 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 blah. Make sure I'm not missing too much of anything. We're not getting everything, but. Okay, warp over to climb your way northward up the mountainous peaks. The mountainous sweater puppets. Right up here. Okay, let's go. Slave Leia? Yes. Exactly. Oh, we can't get that. What's the... There's nothing to do with that. Please. Get Link some real clothes. And those amiibos. We were looking for a shrine. Up here. This is usually where monster guy is, isn't it? I don't know if we can make it all the way up here, but we will try our darndest. Basically, we should be able to... If we get up here high enough, we should be able to fly... over to a big part of the Zora domain. Yeah, usually like around here is one of his locations. I don't think we have enough stamina to get to the very top of this though. Oh, we were so close. Oh, I thought we died. Oh, Chad already got that one. Okay, so we've already we've already gotten that. Great. Oh shoot, sorry. I think that's where we need to go. Let's go travel over here. <laughs> Hit you again? Okay. I will. So, if we go towards that shrine and we go... We follow the swamp, we should be able to get to Zora Domain. I might not be able to see my fish husband. Really sad. So... He might not... Sh Hello. Well, that's upsetting. Uh, equip. Oh! You got out of the way! <laughs> that was amazing. He jumped right into the fire. Wait. Wait, I was like, where is that going? Okay. Let's pick this up. Uh, do we have anything broken that I need to get rid of? Yeah. Uh, 
we also need to get rid of this. Okay. Sweet. Alright, so I believe if we head along the swamp, we should... Do I have the uh, thing up? I don't. Uh, let's put... The sun. So we at least know where we're going. Okay. Wait. It just knocked down that tree. Did you see that? That goat just terrorized that bush. Oh, good. I see a guardian over there. Oh, that one's mobile. Oh, shoot. That one is freaking mobile. It's got all its legs. You're clear of that thing. No. No. Uh-uh. Not today. That over. Not today. God dang it. It's like right here. <laughs> it's right here. It it's mobile. I didn't realize how mobile it was. Um let's see. Yeah, I decided we don't parry. Hi, Bright Burns. <laughs> Do I dislike mushrooms or pineapple as on pizza as much as most people? Um, I'm okay with pineapple. And uh I'm okay with um I don't like mushrooms. Not it's not by choice, it just Digestively, I don't get along with mushrooms. Um, and it's interesting that I found out through like a lot of digestive digestive tests that I've had to take that I'm possibly like allergic maybe to them. Not necessarily allergic to the point of going into anaphylactic shock, but um, my my stomach just does not get along with them. It's more of a digestive sensitivity them so i don't mind them um but definitely would not eat a ton of them and i eat things made with cream of mushroom i don't know i'm not sure i mean are those even real mushrooms at that point is cream of anything really a real cream of anything at that point we're saying yes okay then no Then no, I probably can't eat it if it's real mushroom. <laughs> okay. Alright, so we need to head... Let's not head toward... That's the next... I think that's the next shrine over there that we've got to head towards. We just need to stay clear of the... The, uh... Mr. Man. Well, unless we're supposed to head towards that. Are we supposed to head towards that one? Was that Death Valley? Oh, yeah, that's Death, Death Valley over there? Or is that Lanayru? Will you stop? Okay. There's a tower over there. 
Some people can't eat pizza anymore because their digestive system simply won't allow them to eat. Um, yeah. Some people just can't eat gluten. Sure. But there's things called gluten-free and cauliflower crust. So people should be able to enjoy some type of pizza. Depending on the pizza you're eating, not all pizza is fattening and greasy. Um, I have to have this on so I can see where I'm going. Celery is for the devil. It's the devil's lettuce. That's the that's the celery is the real devil's lettuce. Isn't that right? Ooh, nice. Speaking of mushrooms. Okay, is that thing still over here? I don't see it. Oh, there it is. I think can spot you from like miles away. I think we just gotta get over to the shrine over here. <laughs> Unless you put peanut butter on it, then you gotta make it tasty. Even still, I mean, who made celery and was like, I want strings of this vegetable to get stuck in my teeth. I want that to be in something enjoyable that I eat. I will eat celery, but only because I have to, because I'm, adult. I'm an, an adult and I have to eat healthy. Do women pee? Only sometimes. Not every day, though. Once every three days. Okay, I'm just gonna head this way because it's like safest. It says we're supposed to be running into Zoras, though. I'm not running running into Zoras. Um, asparagus is pretty good. But it, yeah, it does, like, taste a little bit weird. My time's up? Oh, yay. Good. Ooh, we got a boomerang. Oh, I can't. Uh, where am I at? They're walking the opposite direction. I don't think we're supposed to go over here. <sighs> actually, I think we are. Never mind. I think we actually are supposed to be here. This is the way, yep. Hey, friends. Oh. All right, now listen. Go this way. Oh, yay. Oh, God. Oh, yay. Uh, oops. Butter bow. Beautiful. 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 That goes that way. Go through the forest, right? There is a shrine over there. Should I I guess I can go get it. Guess I can go get it real quick. Watch as I die. Step into the fire like last time. Chest, chest, treasure. Arrows, thank you. You know what? On second thought, Chad can go get that shrine. I don't want it. Okay. 
Let's go this way. Into see the Zork. There they are. Hello. There you are, my friend. Oh, there's one. Over here. Oh, hey. This is the first time I've seen one. I'm Tonika of the Zora. Aren't you a alien? You are, aren't you? Yes, I can tell. You are the most, you are most certainly a Hylian. As fate would have it, our Prince Sidon is looking for a Hylian like you. The prince, the prince is at the Inogo Bridge right now. Will you consent to go and see him? I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to. Prince Sidon? My future fifth husband? Why, yes, I will. Women pass gas too? Yeah, we were just talking about that. I have passed gas like five times since we've been streaming and you guys have been none the wiser about it. And that's the brilliant thing. Um, but they mostly do whenever they're really old. I think everyone farts when they're really old. I don't think it's just women. I think everyone's like ability to hold in a fart just goes away because all of our muscles are relaxed at that point. Also, when you're the older you get, the less you care about offending anyone with your farts. I'm just going to be honest. Like the older you get and or when you become a parent, the less like whatever's you give when it comes to letting stuff out of your butt. I'm going to be honest. You never come in and say hi to anybody. How are you? Come here. Sweet boy. Aww. Someone came in for some head scratches. Okay. I gotta get back to work. I know. I'll come out. I'll be out there in a minute. Okay. <laughs> what if that was Chad? <laughs> you guys assume it's the dog. I'm just kidding. I would never. No. Never. That would be hilarious, though. Okay. Um. That would have been so funny if, like, Chad popped his head up. Oh, this is the Akala Lab, too. So, Hyrule Ridge. I'm assuming there's another shrine around here. Do I find a really good, attractive man, but less... Wait. Do I find, oh, a man but less attractive when one, no. No, I've been with, I've been with enough people to know, like, um. Did it hurt you too? Um, tell me where it hurt you, Alan. Um, I, I have smelled enough, like, bad farts in my life, like, l lived with someone, um, to, to know that experience and, like, shared a bathroom with them that I'm totally fine. I, like, I, I think, again, it's, at least for me, the older you get and the more, like, especially when you have kids, um, and or you live with somebody, um, it just kind of becomes the norm. And you really don't. I think, yeah, it's annoying sometimes, but at the same time, it's also like, eh, I don't care. Because they have to spell mine, too. I'm not going to lie and be like, it's all flowers, you know. Way to call your sister out. I know. Don't tell her I said that. Are we heading in the right? Yeah, we are. Okay. Really, Okra? I mean, there are people that... There are people that are married that I am friends with that they don't... That she, the like, the wife would never 
still, and they've been together for years, would never fart in front of him and would never go to the, like, they would wait until they're asleep to go to, like, have any type of bowel movement. I mean, think about the amount of stories that we've read where the girl, like, held in her fart for, like, seven years because she was so embarrassed by it. Like, honestly, I want to be with someone that's going to love me for whatever. And it's, I'm sorry, that's farts and all. So if you can't stand a noise coming out of my butt from time to time, I'm not saying, I'm not definitely not doing it on purpose, but like, if you, if you can't handle that, if you can't handle me at my best, when I'm farting, I mean, you definitely can't handle me at my worst when I'm throwing up. So. <laughs> You'll fart and pull the covers over my head? You act like that would not be the first time. Like, like that would not be the first time that that's happened to me. Come on now. I grew up with all boy cousins. You don't think I've seen, smelt, heard the... The foulest things? I mean, come on. I didn't grow up in, with brothers, but I grew up with cousins in my huge Italian family. And let me tell you, when there's not even a word to describe disgusting sometimes. So I've seen it all. And it's fine. Nothing really disgusts me. Also, also people are human. Like, the only thing that would ever really disgust me is if you ate cold pizza. I'm sorry. That That is disgusting. I wouldn't leave you for it, but we would definitely have a discussion about it. We would definitely have a discussion. We would talk about our opinions with one another, and then we would decide which one of us is right, i.e. me, and then we would move on with our day. <clears throat> Someone we know wanted to eat cold pizza? Really? Am I going the right way? I am going the absolute wrong way. My timer's up. Why am I still continuing? Where am I going? I actually think I am going the right way. Okay. All right. I'm going to stop here. I will pause. Um, And Chad can pick up here because I know he probably needs to get in here and, and um, get going with his stuff. So I'm going to stop here. There's no way... There's no other way to eat day two Papa John's pizza. I always put mine in the oven. I have an air fryer now, though, so I, I would probably use that. But I used to just warm the oven up. as Basically, as you're preheating the oven, I always just put it right there on the rack of the oven. And then when the preheat beep goes off, your pizza's ready. Um... Does my sister think I'm a nerd and um and does she hate Zelda? I feel like she's indifferent with it. I don't know that she hates it or likes it. I think she definitely would watch it. And she's watched a couple of the streams before, um, as we've done Zelda or yeah, Zelda Challenge. Um, but I don't know that she's as obsessed with it as I am. So I will say that. Um, she's still playing through the Harry Potter game, so she definitely likes video games. They just obviously have to be attuned to her certain interest. Um, right now, her interest is hockey. So, uh, You were a cold pizza guy until you got your air fryer. Air fryer slash oven. Um, like a toaster oven. Life-changing. If you don't have at least one of those in your house, highly recommend you invest in them. Life-changing. Um... What else? Alyssa warmed up a slice for him, but I think he had some cold pizza as well anyway. That's why I am totally like we can have a discussion if I was with somebody and they my sister eat, eats cold pizza. So it's not just a guy thing. Like it's just that person's preference. Like my sister loves cold pizza. She will actually put it in the fridge when she gets it and then she will take it out and eat it cold. Um and put a hot sauce on it. Um, but so I'm used to all that. My my the only person I think that's like me is my dad. My dad and myself cannot eat cold pizza, but my mom, my sister, um, you know, people that I've been around and with, they 
love cold pizza, but I just can't. It's a texture thing too. I'm just weird because it's a texture thing. Um, and I can't do it. But if I, I don't know, that would never be a deal breaker for me. I think the only like red flags I would have would be if the person was very like narcissistic or something. It would be something odd like that. So that would be my biggest red flag if the person only maybe thought of themselves or I don't know, they were really rude or something. They If they weren't funny, that would be a big deal breaker. Like I need, I would need to be with someone funny and that also can like banter with me because I have such a like smart aleck mouth. Um, If they couldn't take the jokes that I've given them, which... There have been people that they don't understand sarcasm. Like that's that's a big deal breaker. Okay, I will let you go. Um, I will be watching from afar so I can see my prince husband. But I hope you guys have a wonderful night. I'm going to watch some hockey and go lay down in my bed with my peanut butter. And I hope you have a wonderful evening. I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow is Wednesday. I do not put ketchup on my fries. I can't stand when people just randomly put ketchup all over their fries you're not getting enough of the surface area what like when you dip each fry I'm so passionate about this I should stop but like you have to dip every single fry in ketchup when you just smother it around like that the surface area is off some fries get ketchup, some fries don't, some fries get too much, other fries get too little. It just does not make sense. I'm sorry. No offense to those of you that do that, but that's just not the way. That's not right. I understand that you do it, but it's just, you need to admit that it's wrong. Okay. I will see you later. Bye, everybody. I will see you tomorrow. Enjoy Chad's time. Enjoy the Zora domain. I love you. Mwah. Have a wonderful evening, and I will see everyone tomorrow. Um, some of you I will see um, tomorrow morning. So bye. I love you. Bye, Carden. Bye, Jono. Bye, Alan. Bye, Eddie. Bye, King Ezra. Bye, Okra. Um, I will see you later. Bye. Uh, Chad. Chad.
here I am. I am here. Hello. Welcome. All right. Oh, wait. Where are we? Where are we? Alan, Jono, Cardin, hello. I know we're supposed to be heading towards Zora Domain. But no, I'm just joking. We're going to head there. Oh, goodness. Eddie, hello, hello. How is everyone doing? No fish husband tonight. Yes, I know vertical. I, I know they're slippery. Just let me up here. Ah, uh, it wasn't as close enough. Oh, well. Yes, I know my car can't hear me, but I'm running without using stamina. Okay, that's enough. That's enough of you, Makar. How's everyone doing tonight? <laughs> Didn't about the deaf horse. Now I need to go back to the dealership and burn it. And burn all of their inventory. I have a feeling I'm on the wrong side of this mountain range. Maybe, maybe the rain won't kick in. Like right here's the sweep. Oh no, it's kicking in. Shoot. All right, come on. No, no, no. Just let me climb a little bit more. Ah, uh, shoot. Rain always picks the best time to show up. I know, right? Well, it's because we are technically like right here in the uh, Zora domain. Oh, those are uh, not very nice bokoblins. Of course, we use all of our... Oh, you're too close. Back away. Yeah, I saw that. I just didn't want to switch him. I know, I wasted him. Wasted. Yep. Do, 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 do. You guys won't come to the bomb you won't oh you did It's not good. I need to just run. These are some baddie bads. Oh my gosh. Hi, Okra. How am I doing? I'm doing okay. I'm just uh, running away from death. My arrows hit harder than your arrows. Sucker. Oh, look. They, they're all the way over there. All right. Come on, bring it on.
I'm just getting real low health, you know? Using all these arrows. Getting critical hits on them. Okay, last arrow. Gotta make it a good one. Come on. <laughs> so many crits. Okay, this does plus 12. We do have a long silver sword. You know what? Let's let's get rid of this. Actually got a critical hit off of that dice. And that as well. <laughs> um, let's see here. What else? I mean, I'm sure if I go in here with the silver long sword, it'll only take like two hits. Uh, but I'm worried I'm gonna get hit too, so I need to eat some apples. I guess we do have two fairies. Perfect. One acorn is just enough. Oh my gosh. How dare you, sir? Yeah. Take this. Get out of here. I want all of your moblin guts. There better be something crazy in this chest, I tell you. Oh, that'll do some damage. That will do some damage. Did the other one lose his weapon? Over here somewhere? Oh, it's right here. The Knight's Halberd. I'll run around with that for now. Arrow. Bomb arrows. I mean, was it really worth it? Not really. That's way up there. And there's guardians. I don't know if I want to go to that tower. I don't. Not right now, anyway. Later, later. Well, there's a Hinox or Hinox, whatever you want to call them. They have some nice weapons, but I'm out of bow. I'm at. I'm not out of the bows. I'm out of arrows. Well, I did pick some up, and I got the bomb arrows. You know what? Should we do it. How many fairies do we got? We got one fairy left. And okay, we're going to play the game called Press Our Luck. You guys ready? You guys ready to play the game Press Our Luck? Let's see here. Um, how do I want to do this? Inventory. Do I have any? Oh, I do have flint. Okay. Hold. How do we catch the, the grass on fire? I guess not. Will this Hinox wake up if I cut down this tree? No. Good, good, good. This is all good. These are all things that we're trying to do here. Okay. So let's do this. Um, inventory. Hold. Drop. Inventory. Hold. Drop. Weapon. Strike. Campfire. Catch the ground on fire. Jump up. Okay. We're, oh, this is not enough air. I need more air. Quick time. Oh, uh, right bow. Not the right arrow. Oh, shoot. Oh, well.
Come this way. Come this way, Hinox. I have a fire that we need to sit around. Come here. You're going the wrong way. I actually did some quite a bit of damage to it. Come on. Come on. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Huh? What are you going to do? You're going to take this to the eyes. What you're going to do? Bam. Big damage time. Okay, run away, run away. Oh! Shoot him in the eye. Okay, okay, run away, run away. Oh. Do I have any more arrows left? Oh, I do. Okay. That wasn't an eye shot. I need an eye shot. Don't cover your eye, sir. Shoot. Now I'm out of arrows. Okay. Um, all right. We result to our old tactics of bomb throwing. Oh, gosh, what? No, angle bad, angle bad. Yeah, we did it. Yeah, nice. With a quarter of a heart left. He knocks down. All right, let's eat some seared steaks and uh, an apple. Sure, perfect. What goodies did we get? Anything good? Roasted bass. Oh, some Hinox tooths. And toenails. Oh, lovely. Roasted carp. Roasted trout. Um. Yeah, always nice beating those guys. I feel like the Hinoxes aren't that bad. Lionel's too. Yep, yep, yep. Lionel Richie's. Kind of wish he had better weapons, but that's okay. He wasn't too difficult of a... Uh... Oh, that's the halberd I just tossed. Okay. He wasn't too difficult of a, uh, of a boss here. Anything over here? Why does this fountain seem out of place? Oh, there's some wolves. Doesn't this fountain seem out of place? Like there should be a Korok seed there or something. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 let's, let's not forget what we have equipped here. Um, okay. So you're not electric. Wait. You're good. Okay. There we go. We won't get shocked. Absolute power. Rebranch. Fine. Ooh. 
All right. Nice. Got some monster elixir. Oh my gosh. I thought that wolf just, uh, just about took it there. Just about took the, uh, the lightning. What in the world? Holy jeez. So normally I have to go into the office on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but luckily I don't have to go into the office this Thursday because of the draft that's happening downtown. So it's another work from home day for me. Yeah, I mean, lightning, like, whoever would have thought, like, in a video game that you could just go around and get struck by lightning. Just, like, oh, you know what? You have metal weapons, and, uh, you're going to get electrocuted. <laughs> it's like, huh? Oh. Okay. Holy jeez. Okay, I will take that. The sign... Okay, I can't break it with this Boko Club. That's okay. Come back here, lizard. Ooh, hearty truffle. Can make some some nice, uh, pretty nice recipes. Ooh, big hearty radish. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Smite me, almighty smiter. Nope. Not gonna try it. He's not gonna try it. I know I'm like going like really far away from the uh, from where I need to go, but I'm gonna go over here to this. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going closer to the lightning storm. No, I'm gonna go over here to this shrine. That it's picking up over here. Nice. Nice. Where's this gonna put me? Where is this gonna put me? It should put me right to where I discovered that bridge because that usually means it's a safe. Like, yeah, like a load spot. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, these vocablins. Oh, you got fire arrows? Yeah, you stay back there. Also, a great fairy nearby. <laughs> Love the music. Okay. Ooh, minor test of strength. Nice. What do we have for weapons? Yeah, we got this claymore, I guess. Can we probably heal? Probably. I don't want to eat that. We did get a whole bunch of roasted fish from the Hinox. Ooh, it's an axe guy. Okay. Can I ask you a question? Hey, now. Hey, we don't do that here.
Ho ho ho! I thought it said minor. What the heck, man? That's like major. Or did I misread it and it was really major? No, major has multiple weapons. That's definitely minor. Yeah, it's a minor. It's okay. We'll be smart about it. Smarter. <sighs> You'll never see this coming. Okay, stay back, stay back. Too early. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, no, no. It's terrible. How dare you? Okay, perfect. Come here. Stand back. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, you moved, you goof. Oh, great. I don't have any. I don't have anything to hit him with. Um. Can we can we put this way? There we go. And I'll take your fancy little axe. Never mind, I'll drop it on the ground. Um, travel sword. Ooh, what do we get? What do we get? Goodbye. Do 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 do. It's true. Nice little weapons they drop. Come on. I might have to start making elixir, um, stamina elixirs. Ooh, a giant, uh, ancient core. Very nice. We need those for the armors. And we get a spirit orb. Yes, may the goddess smile upon you and you as well. Okay, so where's this at? Shrines. Shrine, 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 shrine. All? And all? Ah, the music. This music. Um, isn't the fairy down there, Jono? In that circle? Right down there? Pretty sure. Forest on the right. Oh. Like right there. Yeah, I see it now. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Now it's our chance to catch some fairies off guard. Haha. <laughs> oh! Dang it. I thought I had it. Ouch. Sneak, 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 sneak. Lunge. Come on down. Come on down. We just... Just... Dang it. Boy, sweet boy, please. Listen to my story. Sure. I'm the great fairy, Maija. This place was once a beautiful spring, but as time passed, fewer and fewer travelers arrived to offer me rupees. As a result, my power has abandoned me. 
I'm nearly powerless now, so I beg you, help me. I need rupees. Become whole again. All I need is 500 rupees. Once my power has been restored, I can help you do great things, boy. Now, if you have the rupees, hand them to, over to me quickly. In order for me to regain my power, I need 500. Ah, uh, I, do, uh, I don't have 500. I'm sorry. Maybe later. Take that. Thank you. He's not asking for much. Just a mere $500 loan. We've all been there before. Just $500. More meat! Raw prime meat. I'll take a lot of that. Thank you. There was literally a boar next to the wolf. Okay. There we go. I was like, how do we do it? Could be dangerous. Perfect. I don't have enough. Wasn't there? Isn't there supposed to be like uh, like a big shop around here? Like, aren't you supposed to, like, unlock, like, a shop? I thought. After you build the town. Oh, okay. Like, I knew there was a shop around here somewhere. Terrytown? Yeah, it's Terrytown. Where are you going to have me go? You're going to have me go into Terrytown? What? What? Oh. Oh. Well, it's rainy. This is a bad idea. Okay, now where is it? Where did you go? Where did you go? Okay, we're not doing that. A Korok is trying to kill me. I don't like it. Okay. Okay, East Call Stable. Uh, call a tech lab. Okay. All is this way. I think it's up there is what it's saying. Oops. Oops. I mean, really, if I can get to the, uh, to the, whatchamacallit, the stable, then I can grab, uh, my car, and, uh, we can get to the, oh my gosh, we can get to the, um, whatchamacallit, the tech lab. Those are some big bones. Only 49 more hours until I can play the new Star Wars game. Oh, you have to wait for 2 p.m.? Mmm, global release. Okay.
Just keep swimming. Oh, there's a shrine nearby. It would be super helpful to have Makar. Oh no, I know what you are. I know exactly what you are. Your name is Traveler, which means you are one of them. Ay, ay, ay. Stupid Giga Clan. I'll pass. You think you will? I'll take your mighty bananas. Now you're in big trouble because I got this thing. See? Get out of here. Give me your mighty bananas and your rupees. Perfect. Now we just need 420 more to give to that great fairy. Oh, there's the stable and there's a shrine oh I love the stable music honestly tears of the kingdom was like a Easy, easy one for me. It's mini golf. Was it enough? I don't think it was enough. Oh, just shy of the hole. Come on, keep going. Keep going. Reset. It doesn't reset, does it? Nope. Okay, it does reset whenever you, you take off of it. Okay. All right. Tap it in. Give it a little tap, tap, tap a -roo. There we go. That's in. You know, I'm looking at these lamps right now. These little blue ones. They kind of remind me of the uh, the lotus lamps on the Sky Islands a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, ouch. As long as there are no game-breaking bugs. Ha ha ha, it's a trick. There's actually another puzzle in the back. Oh, 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 no. Dang it. Better mini golf. What? Yeah. <laughs> Once I connect, things can go flying. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect! Oh, I need to watch it the whole way. Dang it. There we go. That's an easy end. What? What? Let's roll in. Roll in. Come on. There we go. Alright. Now we can get this trust. That's true. I wonder how many people did miss this puzzle. Anything good. Anything good. Ooh, 
Ooh, great frostbite. Uh, inventory's full, of course. Okay, what are we getting rid of? I'm sorry, Torch. It's time for you to go. Now we can go to, um, now we can go up, uh, Death Mountain and be fine. Yeah, some people are impatient and just rush through. Yeah, eh, I, I get it. I get it. I don't know. It's going to be gonna be interesting. Ooh. Okay, one more orb, and then we can get another heart. That'll be our sixth heart. Which will be good. Yeah, we're doing 24 hours um, when Tears of the Kingdom comes out. So, 24 hours of uh, Tears of the Kingdom goodness. Uh, getting dangerous around here, has it? Uh... Okay, so he's looking for Keaton. I remember this quest. Yeah, shady customer. Um, Beetle's not in here, is he? Uh, rumor mill. What's going on in the rumor mill? Falling treasure. Okay. Recommends four stars. Is there anyone sleeping? No one's sleeping. Okay. Do you have stuff for sale? Oh no, this is just. Never mind. I forgot. This is just a. Uh, what's we got? There's Beetle. There's our friend. Hey, I don't believe it. I've made it your acquaintance. The name's Beetle, but you can call me. Actually, just call. Just stick with Beetle. I wonder what he was gonna say. Wow. Wow. Yay! <laughs> what do you got, sir? Arrows, swift carrots, hearty radishes. Okay. Swift carrots might not be too bad. Um, I mean, let's, let's, let's take them all. Oh, I don't have enough rupees. <laughs> it's like 120 rupees. Okay. Um, how about I buy this? Wow. 10 rupees. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Look what I got. What are you selling? How much? 180 for the topaz? Really? That's all you're going to give me? How much for the opal? 60. Are opals used to upgrade anything? I don't think they are. Are you? Are they? Not are you? Are they? <laughs> uh, I don't remember opals being used for upgrades for anything. I know topaz and rupees and sapphires are. I feel like they're somewhat common. I'll buy it at a high price, stranger. It's okay. I think, I think for the most part, um, opals and ambers are pretty common among the gemstones. So, we'll go ahead and sell them. Okay. Well, look at that. We have enough rupees for uh, for for our for our queen. Wait. 
I do want to get something first. Um, I want to get more of your arrows. And guess what? This time I can take them all. Um, sure, I'll take all your swift carrots too. Okay, and I think I have enough to take your... Yeah, I should have enough to take your horseradishes too. Horseradish, hardy radishes. Okay, I don't want anything else. We're good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's get our horse. You should see all the stuff I have in my save. It's insane the amount of stuff. You have like hundreds of uh, hundreds of items, Jono. Very much so. Nice, nice. Okay. So we need to get to the lab. Ooh, even over a thousand on some things? Nice. I just scared Beetle and he fell back down. Like those opals. You see? I told you. They're like everywhere. Alright, let's get to the, uh... That leads to there. That leads up Death Mountain, which I don't want to go to. Hold on. What's this sign say? Makar, can you tell me what this sign says? Wait. Let's go like, and then... The tech labs... Where's the tech lab? Where's the tech labs this way? Go, Makar. Lead me to the tech lab. Car never learned how to read road signs. Never. It's up here, right? Yeah, Good job, car, you took out that boar. Oh no, that's the tech lab over there, isn't it? I would say that's the tech lab up there. Yeah. Car hit that poor bar, boar. Yeah. Yeah. This Macar seems like very athletic. I, it's jumped over rocks that I haven't seen any other Macars do. Oh, sorry, wolf. My car just runs into everything. Even this tree. My car, you're supposed to... Oh. My car. My car, you can't slow down. My car. You need speed, my car. Oh, my car, you almost bit the dust. Speed, my car. Oh, my car. No, my car. No! Oh! You oh, almost leaned into that one, Makar. Don't hit Makar! <laughs> okay. We made it. Nice. <laughs> that was an adventure. Hey, you! What are you doing here? Hmm. Hmm? Hmm. The mat, the mat. Are you the one called Link? Yes. Hmm. Hmm. That's too bad. If you were the legendary Link, there would be something important I need to tell you. 
but to can't determine with full certainty whether or not you are the true hero as uh how yes how indeed hmm hmm yes if you show me the wounds your body suffered a hundred years ago that shows proof that you're truly link Hmm. Wounds that your body suffered many years ago. Let's see here. I don't have a picture of anything, do I? I'll whistle at him. That'll be the true test. Oh, Link has to get naked. Okay. I was like, huh? <laughs> yes, the number of scars on your body, just as I remembered. Hmm, seems to have healed, but you do line up with the scars. I don't know. Uh, I know you got during the Great Calamity 100 years ago. Hmm, yes. I acknowledge that you are the real Link, so let us begin again. I am lead guardian researcher and director of the uh, Akala Ancient Tech Lab. Dr. Robbie! Guitar riff. In any case, I really impressed uh, that you made it all the way out here, rather remote location. Did you purchase, um, perchance, meet Para uh, and borrowed her power? Um, who's Para? Hmm, yes, okay, that's fine if you don't know. Let us return to the subject at hand, hmm? Did you know that the Calamity is regaining its power? I don't know. Are you serious? Well then, I suppose I should tell you my story, hmm? hmm you don't have to. Hmm, yes, I see. In that case, you... Now is the time to join forces with us, Chica, yes? We must destroy the Calamity. Let's do it. Yes, that is correct. You and I are going to join forces and put an end to the calamity. And on that note, sorry for the long uh, preamble, but I'd like to prove, uh, provide you with some ancient soldier gear. Hmm, did you catch all that? Cherry, hmm, the ancient oven creates ancient soldier gear, but I fear she is all out of sorts at the moment. Hmm, I'm afraid someone will have to bring blue flame from the, an from the ancient furnace again. Why? How dare you? I don't want to bring flames from the ancient fur uh, furnace. Where is it? Where is the ancient furnace? Show me. Lend me your power. Ladder here. We'll climb the ladder. Okay, we'll come over here. We'll climb this ladder. Okay, and then we'll come around this town right here, and then we'll jump on this huge, um, huge thing up here. Come up here. Oh, look, we can just lay out. Yeah. You found me. Yeah, ha ha. Bye bye. All right, let's go put a, go ahead and put our clothes back on. Okay, so ancient flame. If I were an ancient flame, where would I be? It's over there, isn't it? Of course it is. Half these things, I feel like, I, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't grab them, but I'm going to.
feel like there has to be an easier way. We actually do need something for its tree, tree branch. Um, let's see here. We got the clay. Let's get rid of the sledgehammer for now, I guess. I have a bad feeling about this. He's asleep. Can we, sh can we sneak strike him? Come on, let me sneak strike him. There we go. Of course, his buddy wakes up. Leave me alone. Ah, you can't go. Oh. It's like you can't climb hill hills, but you can. Yes, but let's see you climb this rock. <laughs> Silly moblin. That one's asleep. That's fine. Pretty sure I'm going the right way. Oh, fire keys. Stay away from me. They didn't listen. Okay, I'm out of their view. Sweet. Okay. Oh no, not a boar. Oh, gosh dang it. It rained. Not the rain. It ruined my plans. Gosh dang it, I gotta go all the way up here again. Uh oh, Moblin's heard me. Nope, get away. Sorry. It's okay. You can stay down there. Well, now I gotta wait for the rain to stop. It's going to take forever. Oops. Okay, so I need to get back up there.
Almost. Oh, and then we have a lightning storm afterwards, Jono. You see that? I mean, I should be fine with that. Come on. Dang it, I was trying to get to the thing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ugh. If I stay here, it stays lit. Okay. We just gotta time it. I mean, if we can find one of these, um... Lanterns along the way, it should be fine. Come on, stop raining already. Come on, stop raining. Stop raining. It's going to stop raining right at 4 a.m. And then I'm going to have exactly one hour before it starts lightning storming, right? Okay, let's go. Oh, that's another thing we gotta worry about. Okay. Um. <laughs> what? I need a small tree. Something like that one. Uh, but I don't want a moblin next to it. Oh, or that one. Can I get a small tree without a moblin, please? So I can get stick. Might need multiple tree branches. Heck, oh, was it cricket? Okay. This will have to do, I guess. We might have to try to find, like, those torches in between. That one's on patrol. You make it past that one just fine. Okay. Thing is, I don't see another torch thing around here. Oh, there's one. Okay. Come on, make it to that one. <laughs> no! You gotta be kidding me. Okay, I really just need a actual torch then. Which kind of sucks. Um... 
Do any of you guys have torches? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy now. Get off my lawn. Okay, that was un that was uncalled for, but not really. And no one has can a Okay. We'll try this route. I think this is going to be a little bit closer for us. So, but of course it's raining again. Okay, so let's let's take this time to gather supplies. We get more tree branches. My gosh, these moblins are everywhere. Okay, I can't really equip anything that's going to uh, cause me to die. Okay, so these don't, these aren't flammable, right? Oh, they are, okay, sweet. Cause these will last. This, this will last a lot longer than the um, than the tree branch. Now we just have to outlast this uh, the storm here. So that'll take a few moments. I think if we can get the tech lab up and running, we'll be good. No. Oh. Tech lab, then go back and do um, do Zora's domain, since we're so far past it. I feel like it takes so long for bad weather to go away, but good weather is like only here for just a little bit. Shine spark! How's it going? Shine spark, you missed it. We named the horse Makar. So, dude, where's Makar? I don't know where he's at. He's somewhere. Come on, lightning storm. I get two cloudy days. Come on. Your dad's home now? That's nice. Nice. Okay, thunderstorms will be over 10 minutes, right? They'll stop raining. It'll clear up. 
No, not 10 minutes, 30 minutes. Okay, now's the time. Give me clear skies. Partly cloudy skies. Alright, I think the rain's letting up. Alright, let's go. You, you don't see anything. Oops. Didn't mean to catch that on fire. Or that. That's a big, huge jump off. Where in the world? Where did my line go? I had a line. I think it's this way. Okay, we're gonna light this one. Radiation treatment starts next week, and we're, we're just glad to have. Uh, yeah, I know that's that's a really rough um, shine. I uh, I know how that is. Oh, it broke! Holy jeez, I wasn't expecting that to break. Okay. Do you have any type of weapon on you? Besides a bow? Oh, no worries, Jono. Of course, of course. Hey, I need some more tree branches. How many do I have? Got two. Okay, yeah, that should get us a little ways. Hopefully you get to play some more Breath of the Wild later today. Hopefully indeed. Okay. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Light it and keep going. Light it and keep going. Is there another? There's not another one, is there? Where is another torch? Another torch, are you kidding me? Okay, I don't have to go as far back. I just gotta go back to this moblin down here. Does the torch respawn in the first lap? It probably does, Jono. I just, I just don't want to walk that far back. <laughs> I know, that sounds really lazy. Uh, let's get rid of the halberd. Um, let 
I'm trying to scout out. If there's another like torch, um, okay. So basically it wants you to run this way. Okay. I get it now. I want you to run through the moblins. This moblin has no idea. And now he's dead. Okay, tree branch it is. Yeah, blue blue are stronger than red and then like a brown color is like the strongest. I don't think there's a tier above that, but I could be wrong. Yeah, like these guys right here. The brownish black ones, they're the strongest ones. And of course, all of these torches are along the way. This, uh, this branch is going to break really quick here. Easy. It's going to burn out right before I get up here. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. I can now make it the rest of the way, I think, off of one tree branch. That's fine. I just got to dodge these enemies. What the hey, sir? There's no need for that attitude here. Yeah, sure. You can come over here. I'm just going to climb this rock that you can't climb. Yeah, so you can't put it away. Otherwise, the fire will go out. Oh, you mean each lantern? Yeah, I guess you could. Yeah, that makes sense. Dodge, dodge, dodge it, dodge it. Perfect. Okay. Dodge it, dodge it, dodge it, dodge it, dodge it. Come on, dodge it, dodge it. Yeah, nice. Okay, and we're right here. We made it. We made it. We just like to do things the hard way around here, Jono. Yo, Link, listen up. Mm, my darling cherry, Spectre Normal, such power, I love, my love, my I made cherry well again. Dodging them beams. Ooh, three ancient arrows. Ancient arrows, cherries, rupees. Did you hear that? Ah, oh, forgive me, Link. Ever since I fell. Robbie's research is complete. Oh, um, could get more. I want your ancient armor. No, it's okay. We don't. We don't even have everything. We need more gears, and we need ancient cores. Could almost get the bow. I just need more springs and gears. Okay, that's fine. We will buy one more ancient arrow. Okay. Now we can start to head back. We need to go back to the um to the area with the uh fairy, the great fairy. Come on. Look at me, you won't Look at me, you won't.
Ouch. I've never seen it go crazy like that before. Oh, I jumped out of the way. I totally did. <sighs> You're always anxious around guardians. Me, I really don't care. I will take on a guardian any day. As you can just see. And we just end up here. Okay, nice. Wait, do you have... What's your what's your thing? Check it out. Jiren. <laughs> okay, don't worry about it. Okay, so what do you need from me? Who are you? I'm Jiren. Check it out. Scholar. Research shrine. Oh, that reminds me, Link. There is somewhat... I need to go left the sky. Shrine. Skull. The higher. Lower one. Keep the rock. Uh, no, I don't need to know who you are. You're Jiren. I gotta go. See you later. Thank you for the quest. Skull Island's Eye. Skull's Eye. Oh yeah, I forgot. Let's uh, let's head on back, my friend. And that's for blowing me up earlier. Oh, I am sorry. It's okay. It's okay. You want me to give you the pat pats? Yeah, Dragon Ball Super has Jiren. Don't talk to me. You're you are a Yiga. No, no, you're a Gerudo. That's fine. Like you're a Yiga can't clan member in disguise. Why do I feel like I have missed where this fairy is? What? What the heck happened? Cause we came down here. I know we came down here. Oh man. I think it's time to replace our horse with more stamina. We'll set ablaze to all of the land. <laughs> Gotta be getting close, right? <laughs> oh, come on. You've rested enough.
But Lionel's man, oof. Oh ho ho, don't jump off the edge. Dura carrots, those could be useful. Come on. Just, just, just come on down. Come on down. It'll be okay. There we go. Perfect. I don't think I have to walk really anymore because I think they're all or sneak. I think I got them all All right, let's give this lady her her rupees Just grabs them who's released me I was expecting someone bigger I guess uh, but the slim little lad like you will do just fine yes thanks to you my power has been returned to me and I think you'll agree I a good deed deserves a good reward I can enhance your clothing but I require the necessary materials to do so with the power available to me I can enhance your clothes a fair amount enhance away um all right, looks like it's the trousers. <laughs> she blew a kiss to us, guys. She pressed X. There we go. While you were here, set uh, some sets. If you enhance all parts of them twice, it'll give them a nice extra bonus set. You wear them. Uh, it isn't true for everything. I can enhance sadly. Uh, any other clothes? I, I don't have anything else. He enhanced your trousers, Nate. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Nice. All right, we got the awesome music. All right, I think it's finally time for us to warp back to somewhere close to the region that we're actually supposed to be in. Goodness, goodness gracious. Okay. Where is this shrine relative on the map? So it's right here. So if I cut across here. Okay, that's where I should. That's this is where I need to go. Are you a teacher? Uh, no, I'm not. Um, actually, one there was one day, long ago, where I wanted to be a teacher. Um, I wanted to be a history teacher, but no, I'm not a history. I'm not a teacher. Why do you ask? Do I give teacher vibes? Do I know soak the noodles? Um, let's see here. Soak the noodles. That sounds familiar. I 
can't say that I know it off the top of my head. He's like an English teacher that streams. Oh, cool. Yeah, I uh, I always wanted to teach like history, but I never. Oh, I was on his recommended. Oh, nice. Well, technically, um, this is not my channel. So, um, this is Miss Alex Games channel. Uh, my name is Chadwick. Chadwick's gaming, and we are doing a Zelda challenge where we're trying to get through as many Zelda games as we could before Tears of the Kingdom. So we're on Breath of the Wild, the last game uh, before Tears of the Kingdom here. Thank you, Jono. Oh, we don't want to use that on this poor little rabbit. Dang it. Oh. But yeah, if you like Zelda, we've been playing for uh, 61 days, not consecutive days, but um, Every time that uh, Miss Alex has streamed during the week, she has played, or we have played, a Zelda game. We started with Skyward Sword, and here we are now at Breath of the Wild. Okay, there should be a... Oh my goodness! That's a little loud. Holy jeez. Thank you, Shine. Thank you, thank you. There's the... Oh, it's our friend. Ah, oh, Cass is my favorite. Aw, Sunnyverse, thank you for the follow. Yeah, yeah, so we'll, uh, we're actually going to be, we're planning on doing a 24-hour stream for Tears of the Kingdom as well on launch day. So, um, I know most people are going to be wanting to play it and not be surprised, but if by chance you happen to be playing it, you can play it along with us. Um, and we'll be playing it for 24 hours straight on the 12th. Uh, no, I'm sorry, it's nothing. I didn't mean to pry. Have you never met a Rito before? Odd. My name is Cass. As a bard, I spend my days traveling this land in search of the ancient songs. Have you heard of the ancient songs of Hyrule? Ancient songs? Ancient songs. Songs that sing the praises of the hero who beat back the calamity in the ages past. All right, Jono, have a good night. Yeah, we got 30 minutes. We'll probably try to get to the Zora domain. I don't know if we'll actually get into the... Uh, to the um the beast but uh, we'll try uh one of the more famous among them recounts the events of 10,000 years ago i happen to know a song about the ancient hero it is passed down to me by my teacher do you care to hear it let's hear it excellent without further ado The kingdom of Hyrule is a vast and storied land, oft great grasped in the palm of blah 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 blah. A dark force of destruction, many times undone, rises rises once again. Ganon, blah 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 blah. But hope survives <laughs> in Hyrule for all is not lost. Two brave souls protect it, no matter the cost. A goddess blood, princess, and a fearless knight, they appear in each age to fight the good fight. Their battle with Ganon, I've committed to song to keep it through time, no matter how long. Now begins the second verse. Listen to it and you'll know of the battle with Ganon 10,000 years ago. The kingdom of Hyrule was once a land of lasting peace, a culture of such strength and wit that suffering did cease. But Ganon lurked beneath the surface, strengthening his jaw, its jaw. So the ancient people of Hyrule set out to help the cause. Their efforts bore fruit in an automated force to help avert calamity by sealing it at its source. Oh my goodness. Four giant behemoths for which power never ceased. Each of these titans they call was called a divine beast. And free-willed machines that hunted down their prey, these guardians were built to last so that they can join the fray. To guide the beast in battle, warriors that were needed, so four champions pledged to see Ganon's defeated. 
divine beast, guardians, princess, and knight. The plan to root Ganon was looking all right. Air, airtight. I was going to say all right. Airtight. Uh-oh. It's happening. And when Calamity Ganon reared his head, Hyrule rose against it. The optimism of Hyrule all the more incensed it. Ganon raged in its assault, boiling it with hate. It ga uh, gnashed its teeth and thrashed about, but it was not too late. The Guardians kept the heroes safe through every hour. The music. The Divine Beasts unleashed attacks that were weakening Ganon's power. The hero with the sealing sword struck the final blow, and the holy power of the princess sealed Ganon so. And that is the story of the brazen attack on Calamity Ganon 10,000 years back. Thank you for listening. Please come back and hear it again sometime. Oh goodness! Okay, that was that was a nice little uh, nice little jaunt right there through the story. I wanted to say this was Kanye West trying, but it's uh, Kanye Wan. Okay, we can skip this. How many? How many orbs have we got? We got three. Let's go ahead and do this one so we can get our fourth orb. And we can get another heart piece. That'll be nice. Shields from water. Okay. Wait, is there something in the water? Hold on. I don't think there's anything in the water. No, I think you just need to use Ryanus. Oh no! Are you serious? It's just not quite enough. It needs to be like even with this. Nice, it did that with a tree branch. Okay. Um Can't swim. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. You're gonna drown. Do I have to start over? No, just right here. Okay. You're meant to get on this boat. No, I did it again. Alright, just fall. Just fall. Ridiculous. Okay. Oh, good. OK, 
Okay. This is fine. Ouch. Okay, I don't think... What the heck? How can you see me? Um... I guess I could just use a fairy. Climb up here. What is it? Something good, right? Broadsword, okay. Oh, I actually had the inventory space? Okay, don't need those anymore. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, he trick shotted me. How dare he? Dude. Come on. Oh. It's the worst. It's the worst. Okay, that's it. We'll just wait for the next one. We will wait for the next one. We'll put an ice block right here just to stop it. Oh my gosh, I was going to say, if I didn't make that, I was going to be so angry. All right. There we go. We got four, four of the, um, we got four spirit orbs now, so we can get another heart. All right, let's go ahead and get our horse again. Maybe I should let's see here. We got monster parts. I cooked in dishes. What do you do? Elixir to move quietly. Well, I don't want quietly. And what do you do? Heightens your sense that you can move silently. It's the same thing. Quietly and quietly. I need quickly. It doesn't look like I got I got any any bugs to do so with. Ugh, sorry. Hi. Hi. We'll get my car ready for you. All right, there you go. Okay. Pretty sure I want to go this way. Yeah. 
Okay, I think that's definitely the tower for the area. Well, Makar, you kind of chose a bad spot. You can go down here, Makar. There you go. Good, Makar. It's just a cliff, Makar. Just a cliff. Let's look at the map. Yeah, we're, um... Getting kind of far away. That's definitely the tower for the region. Let's, let's discover this shrine real quick. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Makar, you can't, um... Can't come over here. That's fine. Alright, that should be fine. I should be able to get there just fine now. Do I have, um... Don't have any fire arrows. Dang it. Okay. I guess I could always just do this. Do I have any more flint? I do. Drop. No, I don't need you to drop there. I need you to drop like right here. Oh, okay. Instantly, um, instantly broke. Okay. So what you're saying is, is that we're not getting this. <laughs> we're not going to get this one. Okay. All right, that's fine. Well, let's just go back to Makar. And uh, we'll uh, we'll get to the, the tower and then we'll get to, um, whatchamacallit. The Zoro Domain. Oh look, I just scared a fish out. Nice. Oh, hi, Leto. I... <sighs> Why are you making me get off my horse? I apologize for calling you so suddenly. I'm Leto, a proud member of the Distinguished Zora. As you, uh, as you are a real Hylian, I had no choice but to call upon you. Will you please spare me a moment of your time? Sure. Okay, thank you very much. Point. Do you see that tower over there? The one atop the mountain yonder? I need you to go upstream um, of the Zora River, which runs along the north side of that tower, to Indigo Bridge. I can see it in your eyes. You're asking yourself, why me? A reasonable question for such a stranger uh, accosted by a passing Zora in such a manner. But I must assure you, this venture will be profitable for you as well. You see, Prince Sidon of the Zora is in desperate search for a strong Hylian. And as, as this is a royal request from the prince himself, it's safe to assume the generous reward will be in the cards. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm asking you to meet with the Prince Sidon at Indigo Bridge, uh, along the Zora River, just upstream here. If you say so, sir, I was going there already. Now I need to go back to my car here, and uh, there's a fire right there. Why is there a fire?
Oh, because of you. Is this is this too deep? Is this too deep for my car? No, my car can cross this. Nice. I'm not stalling out on my car here. Yes, I know it's steep, Makar. You can make it down there. You've done it before. Look at you. You're basically a vertical horse right now. Look, you fell and nothing happened. I know it's uneven ground. It'll be fine. Oh, Makar. That was cool. It was like a little side side run. Alright, so I think... Oh no, I can cross here. It's like, I think I have to go this way, but I can I can go. We can get this tower. We can get to um, Zora Domain. Oh, it's a Hinox. You got anything good on you, bud? No? No? Gosh, now who's stopping me? Tona? Tanya? Where are you? You're in the water, aren't you? Oh, yes. Hi. Hey, come here. I'm already here. Oh, my, my. Oh, wow. Oh, whoo, whoo. it's a Hylian, a real Hylian. Um, I mean, are you, you are a Hylian, right? Yes, I'm Hylian. I knew it, so I knew it. Um, well, uh, what are you waiting for? Go see the Prince Sidon. Point. Ooh. He's waiting on Indigo Bridge, uh, which is upstream of Zora River. Please listen to what dear Prince Sidon has to say. Yes, I know. I know it's sudden, but you'll understand everything once you get there. Trust me, you'll see. Oh, you'll see. Okay, now I'm going to get back on my horse. Thank you for stopping me. And, um, yeah, it was very, uh, very helpful. Your insights to, uh, what is going on and where I need to go is top notch. Oh, there is a shrine there. I was more worried about the tower. Can I ride a car up the tower? I mean, up the, uh, side of this cliff here so I can get up the uh Makar you can do this you've done this before oh someone has lightning arrows excuse me holy jeez Makar are you okay we're oh, we don't have the insurance to cover lightning strikes who dare was it you are you all going to die now I think you are. Goodness gracious. Okay. I I dealt with those ruffians, Makar. You don't have to worry. Actually, I can just magnesis this thing. I was gonna try to jump on it, but I don't need to. What did we get, Makar? A shield. Perfect. Totally worth the shock. You're fine. I know. We got shocked. It's okay. The, you can just step right through here. I know you can. Your AI is, is designed to do so. The car. We're, we're pretty much on flat land now. There you go. Just, just. Oh gosh! Keep going, the car. They're attacking. The ruffians are attacking Makar. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's another chest right here. We gotta get it. Maybe it's something good. Five arrows. Okay, well, you know. Well, we can't go that straight up, Makar. We gotta, we gotta go around this way.
Oh, my car. We cannot go that way. Okay, it's okay. We're, yeah, we're just gonna keep going this way. Perfect. Makar, you found the path, sir. That is a whiz robe, or at least it sounds like one. Uh oh, Makar, you're going, you're going down the hill now. We need to go back up. It's an ice whiz robe. Oh, goodness. All right, Makar, you stay here. I'm gonna climb up here. I just gotta make it to the top of this tower. Okay, stamina is recovered. Let's keep going. Oops. Okay, we just gotta remember to grab my car before we continue onward. I hope this is enough stamina to get to the top. So high up. There's a Zora on top of this tower. Are you kidding me? Sheikah Tower activated. Your tower activations are one of the best cutscenes of the game because it spins around and it shows you the whole area. All right, let's go talk to this guy because he's scared. Oh my gosh, is he going to point? Please, leave me here. Alright, I see you, my friend. All right, perfect landing. Hold on. Ooh, luminous stone, okay. I think there's a quest for luminous stone, but I don't remember what it is. All right, let's uh, let's get on down. Get down from here. You don't wanna go that way? How about this way? Oh no, the um, Oh my gosh, I'm going to die because I'm going to fall to death. 
All right. Well, you know, Makar, I tried to warn you. I said it was dangerous to mess with these guys because they they're going to think that you owe them money. So let's just not mess with them. I'll, I'm going to leave you here to deal with the whiz robe. Um, and I'm going to go to the Zora's domain. So I'll catch up with you there. Okay. That sound like a plan. Oh, shoot. Oh, no! I'm dead. I'm dead. I tried to do the trick. Let's see if I can try it again. Um, with a tree that's not so close to the edge. Next to this, uh... Yeah, next to these cobblins. Perfect. Gosh, I'm trying to do something, guys. Can you, like, just go away for five minutes? Oh, come on. You give me no health whatsoever. I'll eat two hearty truffles then, I guess. Dude, not cool. Gosh, my time's up already? No, don't eat those. I need a restroom, I guess. I just got insta frozen here. That's not cool. Hey, where are you at? Where are you? Hey. That's a little much. All right, let's get to um, let's get to Zora's domain. Looks like we need to go that way. Okay, so much for that. Um, really, it looks like we just need to go this way, so let's just go this way. Stop wasting time.
I want your lightning arrows. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I don't have anything equipped. There's regular arrows? Oh my goodness. Come on, come on, come on. Get out of the water. Get out of the water. Oh, if these bees are the things that kill me, ah, so help me. I'm so close to the domain. I need to heal up, though. Sure, we'll eat you. We'll eat a couple peppers. We're back to normal. Okay. Gosh, this is such a long and windy, windy road. Just to get back here. Yeah, we gotta keep going. There we go. Peace. Okay, okay, okay. It's raining and I'm not going to be able to climb. I think if I go around this rock, I might be able to make it to the next bridge that I need to make it to. Maybe. Or not because the bridge is completely vertical. Oh gosh, I don't need this to be a climb spot. Come on, be flat enough for me. Okay, there we go. Nice. Okay, we saved ourselves. <laughs> Barely. Yeah, that's a that's a high bridge. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Okay, we'll just use Cryonis for now. Try to get around.
Why do you always try to dive? I'm trying to use my paraglider, thank you. We're getting so close. We need to be up there though. I don't think there's a way for me to Come on. Get out of the water. Thank you. Okay, I don't think there's any way for me to get up once to get over here. Actually, you know what? That's probably my best bet over there. Okay, swim to shore. Swim to shore. You're almost there. Do we have to go back this way? I feel like we have to go back this way because we have to cross one of these bridges. Maybe it's this bridge here. I feel like we have to cross one of these bridges in order. That's the great Zora bridge. In order to see Sidon. You know what? No. We're going to go to Zora's Domain, we're going to save, and we're going to quit there for the night. That's what we're going to do. I just need to be able to get back up here. There we go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Should say fish hubby. True. This is very true.
This is where it would be nice to have a heart right now. A heart. A, uh, <clears throat> a horse. The car is just, I don't know, somewhere. What? I'd be so angry if I died right there. Restar Charizard, is it a good pull? It's, it's, um, it's a pull that is, um, good. Holy jeez. It is good. Um, it'll probably be worth more the longer you hold on to it. Oh, no. Quick. Quick, equip. <laughs> Pulled it. It's hiding it from him to save him from himself. That's, that's good, father. Saving it. Okay, so the really bad thing is now, is that, like, we have no weapon. Is there a better one than Charizard from V-Star? Um, uh, from Brilliant Stars? The only other one that would be close would be, like, uh, the alternate art for... RCS V star, but I think uh, value wise, Charizard is probably going to be the the best card to pull money wise. All right, we made it to Zora's domain. I'm not going to go any further. Well, you know what? I should go touch the shrine. I'm going to go touch the shrine first. Just so that way we have a warp point. Oh, look at the little Zora children. All right, just so we have a warp point. Because that's the important thing. The whole reason why we got here. Um, so let's go ahead and save with not very many weapons and then we'll switch over to we'll go ahead and put you in sleep mode switch over to the webcam I'll get some music going I'll turn this down because it's gonna be insanely loud Okay, and then it's time for our Pokemon pack pull. We got Scarlet and Violet packs. Yesterday we pulled a a I think it's called a secret illustration rare of Arvin. That's what we pulled yesterday. Super cool. They changed the uh, the rarity values on the cards. Before they used to be like just a uh, star was rare. Now they do like black star is rare. A double black star is like a uh, ultra rare. Um, then there's like a double gold star. And then there's a triple gold star. And a single gold star. Water energy was our energy. Sorry, I didn't. I didn't have anyone guess. Uh, we got a graveyard and a mastiff. Mischief. Um, a spupa. Meditate. A Miriam. 
Merriam is uh, one of the most expensive cards in the set right now. I think it's only going for around 45 bucks, but still. Uh, Rock chest plate. Okay, our first reverse hollow is a Bisharp. Our second reverse hollow. Ooh, look at that gold card. Very nice. So if you if you look, if you look here in the bottom corner. Come on, focus, focus, focus. There you go. You see, there's three stars there. That is like the highest tier of rarity is three stars. So very nice. Uh, Crydon EX Gold Star. Very nice. Go go gold card. Oh look, and our rare for the pack was uh, Crydon Hollow. Very nice. Very. Ow, man, I tell you these things but doesn't go as far as yeah doesn't go for this is like uh this card right here is probably like a 20 dollar card like a 20 buck card but hey it's still nice um they're tough to pull the gold cards are so it's uh it's definitely a nice pull i rather enjoyed that so it's very nice all right i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here i'm getting tired um but yeah we'll be back tomorrow alex will uh will Hopefully, either she'll she'll start the uh, divine beast there in the Zora domain, or you know she'll she'll go questing. She'll she'll go questing maybe. Um, but yeah, yeah, complete more of the map. Who knows? We did a lot of progress today. We opened up both of the um, both of the tech labs. We got some more shrines taken care of. A little bit more of the map. We're ready to take on our first divine beast um yeah so we'll be back tomorrow with more zelda uh everyone have a good night and uh, thank you very much for the follows um for the bits earlier bright burns uh towards alex very much uh appreciated okra thank you for staying up and with me and hanging out uh jano um anyone else i'm trying to think here shines uh, shine sparks thank you thank you um yeah yep yeah, that's it for me all right bye guys bye